Hello everyone! Hey y'all! Happy Monday! How is everyone doing? And hello Juice, it's been a while. How did, um, I think maybe your school year is over? How did that go? Are you, did you do well? Wait, it's Tuesday? It is not Tuesday! Um, no, it's Monday. It's Monday. I just fucking checked. You almost got me. I thought I was playing the wrong game then because I know on Tuesday we're supposed to be playing Yakuza. You did well? I'm glad to hear that because it seems like you were kind of scared about one test But I'm glad that overall you did well It can be very stressful I know when I was in uni, I would take a test and then um, I would purposefully like remove it from my mind So that I wouldn't think about it and get tilted for the next test <laughs> It looks kind of like um I don't know, it helped me keep my mental strength up because there was one physics test I took where like I, I studied for like 14 hours for it because I was dog shit at physics at the time and I remember after I took the test I went in the bathroom and I cried and I called my mom <laughs> and after that I just like I decided no more, no more, we're gonna put this behind me so now every time I took a test I, I just completely forgot about it like people would be like hey what did you put for this answer and I'd be like I don't know I, I honestly don't remember anything on that test. I removed it from my mind. Selective forgettingness. It helped. It helped. And hello, Dark Dear Ling Ling. How are you? And Dashing Demon. Yeah, no problem. I hope you, um, you know, are successful in whatever it is that you are doing. And hello, Yuri T. Again. How you doing? Bum bum. Wait, you brought snacks during the exams? That's nice. When I had my finals, I also, um... I, I did some weird stuff. But one of the things that I've had since I was young was like a little Pikachu backpack. I'm sure I had it since I was like five or something like that, but I had a little zipper in the back. And so um, I'd put like my calculator and my pencils and everything I needed in there. And then I would cuddle it during the entire test. It would help remove nerves as well. I get really nervous during tests. I'm just a nervous girl overall. Yeah, croissant, croissant, baguette. <laughs> I like croissants a lot, but hello, Red Wonder, and hello, Chaos. Do you want me to call you Coven? Or, I meant, I meant to say Gaito! <laughs> do you want me to call you Gaito? Or do you want Chaos? I'm sorry about that. You're tired? I, um, I have had copious amounts of soda pop, because I'm trying to finish the rest of the two liter that's in my fridge, but I, um, I have dry eyes, so I feel like a little bit teeny tired right there, but I am doing good as well. My weekend was a little bit rough, so I'm glad that it is over and that I get to, like, just play games and hang out with y'all again. I really look forward to streaming. I speak good French? Okay, thank you. What else do I know? Uh... Pa Actually, no, that's the only thing I know. I, I used to say, do you know how to speak French? But I don't remember it anymore, so clearly I don't know how to speak French. I never took any French classes when I was young. I only took um, Spanish, German, and Japanese. I took three years of Spanish and I was pretty good at it, but I've pretty much forgotten everything. I know like the bad words in Spanish now, those are like the only ones that, that stuck with me, but um, everything else I kind of forgot. Um, either Gaito or Kevin. Okay, I'm sorry. Because I know your name was Kevin on YouTube, but then sometimes I feel bad if I don't ask you if I can call you that on Twitch. And I felt like I just outed you, and I'm so sorry. I don't normally do stuff like that. I'm normally better, but it was like in my head, and I'm not good at filtering. So yeah, thank you for, uh, uh, thank you for not getting upset at me. And hello, uh, last Daisy. I'm good. Wait. Moutard is mustard in French. I doubt I said it correctly, but thank you. I enjoy a good um, bit of mussy, so the fact that moutard is pretty close is very good. Oh, yeah, none of your online friends call you that? Then I'll call you Gaito, because I like Gaito. Yeah. French, uh, I'm sorry, no, Spanish. It's kind of like, I don't know, it was easy to learn because the sentence structure is pretty similar to English. But when I went to learn Japanese, like my fucking brain, it just can't with Japanese. Like I can understand a good bit when people speak, but I can't like watch a whole live and um, understand 100% of what they're saying, especially like Sencho, even though she's my favorite. Um, I don't know, she tells a lot of stories and I don't know that much. I know like conversational Japanese, but I can't speak it. I get too nervous. Like even when I'm around my friends that are from Japan, um, I just, I can't do it. I'm too nervous because I feel like I'm gonna make a lot of grammatical errors and I know they won't judge me, but it's still just like in my head. I don't want to sound dumb. I just can't do it. I have a mental block. 
it's mustard here? Oh. Oh, wait, you guys? Oh, senf is mustard here. Oh, okay. There we go. We finally found a German word that's not the same. <laughs> toast and butter for the same though. <laughs> but that's a good combo. We have some toast, butter, and senf. How do you say and in German? I can't remember. I, I only took like nine weeks of German and they didn't teach you like how to make your own sentences. They taught you canned phrases like, what is your favorite color? My favorite color is purple. Cause they didn't teach me how to say pink. So I only know how to say purple. Yeah, I, yeah, Sencha's my favorite. She's the reason why I really got into Holo Live. Um, my friend sent me a video of her and uh, Kaicho and I was hooked on Holo Live since then. Mm. You can understand Japanese a little. That's good. That's good. You should keep it up. I tried to study a lot of Duolingo, but I got really mad at it because I was sick for a couple of days. But I had like, like a hundred and fifty day word streak, and or like learning streak, and I got so frustrated because I missed two days, and so it wouldn't give me my streak back. I'm like, come on, please! And they're like, you can pay fifteen dollars to get your streak back. And I dropped it. Like, I hardcore dropped Duolingo after that. <laughs> you only know English and Spanish? Oh, and is und? Okay. Masi? No, no, no. Senf und toast und butter is good. <laughs> is that how you say it? <laughs> I feel like I just did really bad. <laughs> and I'm okay, Don. Wait, check your Discord for the information? What information? Here, let me check Discord right now. Um, your house has too many cats. <laughs> I don't think so. I mean, my mom has a lot of cats and it's in about the same area. So I think I'm doing fine. My mom is doing fine and therefore I am doing fine in Minecraft. Will the ghost lady smother you and her boobies? No, cause I'm already taking up that spot. Get your own sexy ghost lady. <laughs> Wait, David, is the wow at my amazing German? We teach me how to say, can I have one beer, please? I think he told me before, but I need to write it down. You know, ego and jakan. I don't know what jakan is. Wait, what are you saying? <laughs> I don't know those words. Yeah, but it means definitely not. I guess we can go ahead and get started because we have a lot of things to accomplish, but we're unfortunately almost done with this chapter because I skipped a lot of the battles since these monsters are particularly hard. The next area, they're annoying, but they aren't gonna one-shot me, so I'm gonna probably level up in the next area. The house needs some white wood. I don't think we have any white wood that is spawning near us. I do like, um, really like colored woods though. Yeah, una cerveza, por favor. I know how to say it. In Spanish, 100%. I know how to ask for some more beer in Spanish, just not in uh, German. Um, how do you say beer in Japanese? Oh, yeah, it's just beer. It's just biru. Mm. Ah, thank you. Kann ich bitte ein Bier haben? <laughs> it's really bad. I need to learn how to say stuff. Hold on, let me put this on my sticky note. What language is this in? I have... I have like a little sticky note where I keep people's phrases that they teach me in different languages. Um... And one of them is Machudao, which means go fuck your mom, but I don't recognize what language that's in. Hmm. I don't know. Anyways, we learned how to say go fuck your mom in a language, though I probably should have written the language next to it. And hello, Hades, how are you? Wait, your house is getting wrecked? It will probably need to be demolished after I'm done with it, considering the amount of cats that are in there. It probably smells really bad. Yeah, no, that's not German. It's not Chinese, I think, either. I don't know. I don't know. Let's see. Okay, yeah, but I do need to switch to the game. Hold on, I'm sorry. I get distracted, you know, your local goat, she she gets distracted very easily. Okay, let's mute the music. And let me know if the volume is okay for you guys. I know you can't hear the game right now, but when I tab into it, you have to let me know. Um, okay. Oh, wait! 
Did you just teach me how to say go fuck your mom in French? Wait, Christy Tabernak. Okay, hold on, no. Uh, we're getting derailed again, and I'm okay with this because I like learning new languages. <laughs> we're gonna, let me go type this into Google, and she's gonna teach me how to actually pronounce it. Wait, what is this? Teach me how to say go fuck your mom. What is this one? What? A, you guys gotta tell. If you're gonna type in a different language, you need to tell me what the language is and what you are actually saying, please. Google Translate, let's see. Ah! Okay! I'm Vietnamese! Tôi muốn một cốc bia. 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 <laughs> Thank you! I want a beer. Vietnamese. Thank you! This is amazing! Yeah, what is this one? I'll show you go fuck your mom. Okay, by va flor ta mer. Okay. Let's do this one. Hey. French. Hold on. Va fourrer ta mer. Oh, that sounds sexy! Va fourrer ta mère. Va fourrer ta mère. <laughs> Va fourrer ta mère. Va fourrer ta mère. <laughs> and I'm not good at languages. <laughs> My mouth doesn't do these things. Go fuck. No, fuck your mom. French. It sounds nice. Guys, what are you saying? Okay, fuck your mom. <laughs> Wait, really? I feel like even if I say bad words in another language to people that I first meet, they normally find it funny because I'm so small and cute. Fick deine Mutter. Fick deine Mutter. Thank you. <laughs> fuck your mom. German. We're getting so many fuck your moms in here. I'm gonna be able to be offensive on every continent and in every country. That is the goal. Thank you. Well, what's this one? What? Come on, recognize it as Vietnamese, I think. Van toi bien toi da du monsieur est bon. It's not telling me what it is, so if you s if you made me put something bad on stream, that's on. Me for not checking it, honestly. How do I say this? No, don't translate it into French. My... Oh, yes, I know! I fucked your mother! Vâng, tôi biết tôi đã đủ mẹ của bạn. Vâng, tôi tôi biết tôi đã đủ mẹ của bạn. I feel like um, the French lady sounds very good on Google. But they need to put some more money into the Vietnamese because she sounds very robotic, whereas the French and English don't really. And hello, Bolt, do you know any colorful phrases in other languages? Because that's what we're doing right now. <laughs> um, yes, I know, I fucked your mom. And welcome to the Snack Shack, Jovi Bear 94. Um, what was I doing? Oh, yeah, Vietnamese. Yeah, colorful phrases, you know, profanities in other languages. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Wait. Wait, is this how you say my name in French? Koyomi? Wait. Did you just say you fucked my mom? Thank you. It's probably been a while for her. <laughs> yes, my day is going very well. Thank you. Thank you. No, it's just Kotomi. Okay. What? Yeah. It needs to say it slow. Well, see, Google does this thing like they know if you're Googling how to say something, they want to do it really slow so that you can get the pronunciation. So if you do it like multiple times, you'll hear it at different speeds. Um, so I very much appreciate that. Don't pimp your mom. <laughs> You're probably right, I shouldn't. <laughs> and 
gonna love this baby. Okay, we're gonna go play the game now. I swear, we're playing it. We're playing the video game. I have it up. We're no longer we're no longer learning phrases. I'm not pimping my mom. Only my ride, which is now Vivian. Okay, so where are we? Wait, I farted your mother and a doggy. What? How do you? I farted your mommy and a doggy. I don't understand. No understand though. Okay, but yes, where we ended last time. Whoa! Oh, this is gonna hurt again. Okay. <coughs> no, I appreciate it, Kevin. I mean, God fuck me. I appreciate it, Gaito. I, I am a horrible human. Anyways. Okay. Uh, we needed... We just got the, the name of the ghost man who took over Mario's body. So we need to go and fight him and tell him his name. Which I do remember is Dupless. What I don't remember is how to spell Dupless. But fart is closed? Wait, how do you say fart? I never learned how to say fart in Japanese. That is one regret that I have. Okay, we cannot fight these flowers though, cause... Wait, they have really cute shoes. They, um, they destroy me. They, they pretty much one-shot me if they get a chance to attack. Well, not one-shot me, they combo me and render everything useless. It's Dupless? I thought it was Dupless. Like, P-L, um, U-S-S, -S, not I-S-S. -S. Can you, um, verify that that's what it is? Because if we type the name incorrectly, we're gonna have a bad time. You're wrong? Are you sure? I thought I was right. Okay, um... I feel like we can actually beat these guys up. Look, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have a bad time with it, but we're gonna do it anyways. You googled it for me? Oh, thank you. I guess I was wrong. And I don't really doubt that I was wrong, because I'm wrong a lot of the times. Bum, 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 bum. Like, I have such a shit memory. Like, I pretty much believe what anyone else says. You can gaslight me pretty easily because of that. But I won't even realize it's gaslighting because I'm just dumb. <laughs> You're teaching folk French? Hell yeah, that's what you should do. That's the reason why people learn other languages, isn't it? Um, X. Ah, I did the wrong button. But at least the, the daisy died. Oh, that's not good. Oh. Wait, somehow translating your name in Vietnamese sounds like a Japanese accent? Oh. Wait, they're... They're both invisible? What the fuck am I supposed to do? I guess I'll just do this. Well, I mean, yeah, if you go around telling people I fucked your mom, they're gonna <laughs> they're gonna look at you funnily. It's not something you actually do. It's something that you like giggle and say with your friends. Okay. Thank you. Uh yes, of course. Raising your attack power when I can't even hit you. That's pretty great. I appreciate that. Whatever, we can fuck this guy. I got the button wrong. Again, I'm using a PS4 controller. It is my fault, but I can't really help it. Because I don't know what any of these buttons are. I just press something and it works. Or in this case, it doesn't. Yeah, it would be funny, but I think I would also... Bastardize... The pronunciation so much. That maybe they wouldn't recognize what it was. Wait, do I like? Do I like what? I like a lot of stuff. I like French toast and Nutella. Um, and what what else makes me happy? I like cats. Oh, did you guys see the new Thor movie? If you did, don't post any spoilers in the chat because it's a new one and people probably haven't seen it. But I saw it. Um, and I'm not gonna get rid of any plot points, but there are goats in the movie and it made me so incredibly happy. Like every time they were on screen, I was giggling uncontrollably. I was so, I was so, so happy. Wait, you saw minions? Yeah, I didn't see minions. 
<laughs> I don't think I don't think I've seen like uh, any of the Despicable Me movies. Oh shit! I got it. Wait, do you like these these nuts? Oh fuck you, no, no, no me gusta. Mm -hmm. Do goats smell good, IRL? Um, female goats smell not great. But male goats smell really, really bad because they pee on themselves. So those those ones aren't great, but female goats are okay. But yeah, I really like the Thor movie. Um Do I really like it? I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it a lot. Cause I don't know, I just really like the Thor movies because they're they're always a little bit sillier than the other Marvel movies, and so I liked it because of that. But I can understand that people have dissenting opinions on it as well. But for me, I am um I shit talk a lot of video games, but I don't I'm not really like a big movie critic. As long as I can sit through it and smile and have a good time, I'm gonna like it. So if if you're expecting like a critical opinion of movies, that's that's not me. But I did enjoy it because there was some action in it, there was some comedy, and that's all I need to make me happy. Wait. They don't have a piss fetish, they just do it, I think, to mark territory. Bum, bum, bum. There's some piss connection there? No, I... No, absolutely not. And hello, pumpkin, how are you? You have a good weekend? Oh yeah, how was everyone's weekend? Did you guys have a good time? Uh, I need a heal. Uh-oh. This might be bad. Should I heal before I talk to Dupless? I don't remember if we're supposed to fight him or not. They're marking themselves. Um, I don't. Maybe it's just show down. I don't. You know what? Here, let's look it up. Why do male goats pee on themselves? Well, let's not bring up any fetishes today, y'all. That would make me very happy if we didn't. Okay. Um, why do male goats pee on themselves? Male goats will spray their own urine inside their legs, on their beards, and on their faces to capture and preserve the strong, musky scent. What the fuck? <laughs> Wait. Hold on. I'm not reading, I'm not reading this out loud. We're done. I'm not... Nope. I'm never mentioning that again. There's some weird words that people wrote in that article. I... Yep. But basically, it seemed to be perfume for male goats is what it boiled down to. But it is very weird. Very, very weird. <laughs> Quote it? No! Absolutely not. We were just... I was trying to learn. We were trying to learn other languages and, you know... Anything we can. This is now a learning channel. This is TLC. Um... Wait, you left your phone in the microwave? Oh no... Oh no... Wait, did you turn the microwave on? Because I definitely have left my phone in the fridge. That's... It's not a common occurrence, but it's happened a couple of times. And I don't know what a spider trap is. I've never had to use any spider traps or anything. I just kind of like spray for bugs around the perimeter of my area. I should try Fall Guys. I do enjoy watching other people play Fall Guys, but... Uh, the game isn't free, is it? And I think I would have to have like a PlayStation subscription. I don't know. It just seemed like I enjoyed watching other people play it, but I don't know if I would enjoy it myself. Wait, it's free? It, what, on, on what platform? Because last time I looked at it, it cost money. Wait, it's going free soon? Oh! Wait, link me that shit. On all platforms? <gasps> oh! Wait, wait. They have it on PC? And Nintendo and Xbox, I think I'd like to get it on the Switch then. Because I just enjoy using my GameCube controller. I do have my PS3 right here. Oh. That's me touching it. It's in it's in my desk. <laughs> so I could connect it to my Elgato. Oh look at all of those little emojis. Oh it's now a go it's a global emoji. Oh, I have no idea. 
cool. Then I will... I'll get it, yeah. Maybe we can play some Fall Guys. Can we play together? That'd be pretty cute, huh? Um, because it was also selling micros. Uh, I do prefer companies that do that, where they make it free to play, but then people can wail on cosmetics if they want to. I personally never buy cosmetics in video games. But, like, if I like the game enough, I might spend, like, $10 on it just so I feel like I paid for it to give the developer some money, you know? I do have an Epic game account, but I don't really go on there. Micros are not good? If it's for cosmetics, I wholeheartedly agree that it's okay because they need some way to monetize the game and pay the developers that put their heart and soul into making it, you know? They, they need to be rewarded for the effort that they're putting towards development. It, you have to monetize it somehow. So if it's with optional content, as long as it doesn't like, you can't... You can't, like, buy something that'll make you have an unfair advantage, and spe especially in something like Fall Guys. I think it's totally fine. That was making my head go crazy. Bum, bum. Bum, bum. Oh, you can do cross-platform. That is good. Wait, let's get your name and body back. Um, I do not remember where Dupless went to go hide, but let me go heal. I think the healing area is right over here. Yeah, we could do something like that no next week. That'd be pretty cool. Bong, bong. Well, if you guys are down. I don't know. I'll put it in the Discord just to see if we have any interest in it. Because I'm always fun to play games with y'all, but I want to make sure that, you know, there's enough people. Otherwise, I get embarrassed. You'd be down? Okay, yay! Um... Wait, so you only care about buying stuff that increases your skill? I see. There are games like that, where, um... As long as it doesn't make you broken. Because one of my friends, he wailed on WoW, but he works crazy hours. So he wailed on WoW to buy, like, a, a gold, which you're not allowed to do. He got his account banned, but he did buy gold. <laughs> he gave it to us, and then he got that account banned, and then he got the money back from us. But anyways, he bought, like, gold, and he bought stuff to, like, help him level. And I think that's fine where you can buy stuff that decreases the amount of time that you have to spend on parts of the games that you don't like. I'm totally fine with that as well. Especially as people get busier and busier. You can play on Tuesday or Wednesday? Okay, we can plan for that then. Wait, Tuesday or Wednesday? Hold on, let me check. Okay, yeah, that should be fine. Pay to win games are the worst? Yeah, I agree. But you can skip content that you don't like, and I think that's okay. Wait, pay to pay is pay to play? I don't mind pay to play. I mean, that's what this game was. That's like the the original way of games. You know, put the quarters in at the arcade, shit like that. That's normal. I don't have an issue with it. What I do have an issue with is pre-ordering games where they're in alpha or beta for such a long time and then they never complete them. Tuesday? Okay, yeah, we can aim for Tuesday then. Let me um write that down. Tuesday. Oh, guys. That'll be fun. I'm really happy. <laughs> To skip content and make the gig dev slow down progression? I... I don't know that I've seen that happen. Um... I, I, I haven't seen that happen. And I, I also have some friends that are very busy with work. And they wouldn't play the game if they didn't have progression skips. Because they, they don't have the time to. So that's why I really, really think it's okay for stuff like that. Oh, you're gonna fuck me, aren't you? Um, no, not this Tuesday, not this Tuesday. Next Tuesday is when I'd be able to do it. Oh, Tuesday. Ah, hey! Okay, Tuesday, 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 Tuesday. I have this southern, southern ways are coming out. They need to go away. Okay, hold on. I just wrong button, fuck me. What are you playing for? Cause 
the, what I'm talking about is I know there were progression skips in Final Fantasy 14 and then there were progression skips in WoW as well so that you could get to the end game content faster. And um, that I am okay with. And those are really the only ones that I've seen it. I haven't seen progression skip in non-MMO content. Is that the wrong button? Of course it's the wrong button. Like Diablo 3? Wait, they have a real money auction house in Diablo? Oh, that's... I don't like that. I don't like that at all. But I say that and the WoW auction house, it's kind of like real money as well. Because you can use WoW tokens, which is the currency that you can, you know, spend real money on. And then you can get gold endgame for it. And, um... So, in a way, the auction houses there are also kind of real money. But if it was, like, only real money, and not, like, also in-game currency, then that's that's disgusting. I don't enjoy that at all. Because you have to have some way to get the currency that's other than real money. Like, kids need to play games, too. They need to have fun. <gasps> There's a golden one! I don't remember what that means! Guys, what does a golden one mean? Hmm. Yeah, DMC5 and the red orbs. Again, you're right. That, that's a good one, David. I think that's fine as well. Um, as long as they don't make it super hard to get the red orbs, which I don't feel like they did. I think they balanced it pretty well. Yeah, I don't know what we do with the golden flower. Mm, they're mostly for art for the alternate characters. Oh yeah, that's true. I forgot that people raised alts in WoW because I uh, once I pick a character, I, I stick with it. I don't want to learn multiple classes. I did like how in fourteen um, Final Fantasy fourteen, you didn't have to create multiple characters to play different classes. Your your, your dude could just switch. I thought it was really stupid in WoW how you had to level up again. Wow, that's a lot of dumb stuff, though. <gasps> I did it! I did it! I did it! I did it! Yeah, the orb income is fine. They balanced it. Okay, do I have an item I can use? No. We're... Oh, if I don't have a way to kill all of them... Okay, whatever. We're gonna do it on this and hope I don't die. I, I don't know what the gold is! It's still alive?! I, I spent so much on that! Oh, I hate these fucking flowers! Oh, I'm so mad. I'm so incredibly unreasonably mad. I spent two star power, which is fine because it comes back, but I'm probably gonna fight a boss soon. And then I use an item. That was that was very sucky. Yeah, I do want to play Devil May Cry 5 again. I'm, I'm, I'm very sad that it's over already, but I'm not doing a virtual play for three. It's not free. Oh, she has a long tail. But they have 20 attack power and try to run away. Ah, that's what it is. I should have... I mean, I did use all of my resources on it. There's nothing else I could have done. The the Thunderbolt was supposed to have a potential to stun the enemy. Oopsies, anyways. Fuck. Fuck them flowers. Bom, bom. Okay, we're gonna... I guess run away again. Because I don't have a way to beat these guys up. My money! The bloody palace mode? Isn't that the um, endless playthrough where you just fight the mobs? I remember you guys told me what it was, but you know, I have a bad memory. Oh, and hello, Air Milk. Yeah, we did uh, the Glitzville stage in the last two streams. It's one of my favorite areas as well, and is why I continued to play this game repeatedly as a child. Where do you think Dupless ran off to? Do you think he's in his little parrot cage, or do you think he's up at the tower? I'm gonna assume the tower, because if I were hiding from someone, I would go hide in my room underneath the bed covers. If I did a Virgil playthrough... Okay, when I go back to work and I can get more games, I will do a Virgil playthrough. 100%. I'd be fine to do that, because it's not that expensive. I just... I can't get it right now. What color is a Yoshi? He's green. 
You can't see him right now, but we named him Ego. I wanted to get a different Yoshi, but I looked up how to do it, and I didn't realize since I was a kid when I played this, but apparently it's related to the amount of time that he's in an egg, and he was only in an egg for zero to three minutes, so he was green. But I really like the pink one, and um, I don't know, all of the, the forms are really cool. They did a good job. Let's see what this parrot's gonna say now. Man, am I tired of this stupid parrot babble act. It's so demeaning. And guarding this dumb letter here, I should report that dupless to the proper authorities unless he gives me a cracker. You like red the best? Yeah, the red one is good. I like the black one as well. When I was younger, I tried to always get the black one, but I didn't know, um... I didn't... Yeah, I didn't know it was time-related. I thought it was just RNG. But I guess because I spent a different amount of time every time. Um... It was fine, because what I would do is I would save once I got the egg, and then if it was the wrong color, then I would just like refight the monsters again. Like, as you're, you know, you're a kid, you have a lot of time. It's not that big of a deal to refight the monsters. Let me get the for you then. Oh, you don't, you don't have to, but if, if you did, I, I would play it. But thank you. Okay, where am I going? Did you already reveal Dupless? Yeah, we just told him his name and he freaked the fuck out. Yeah, so we're trying to figure out where he ran off to. Because he ran off somewhere in this direction. I'm just gonna go get the golden leaf right now since we're here. Bom, bom. Yeah, he needs time to marinate inside the egg. I like the word choice. Yep, based on how long he's marinated, he turns a different color. Woo! Thank you, I appreciate that. Okay. Go to the boo room? Okay, go to the boo room, got it. And uh, there's no way to hit these guys with what I have now, so I have to run away and spend more coins. <laughs> David! <laughs> yeah. Other oh, gifted games getting played, indeed. Um, boo room, boo room. Which one is the boo room? I don't remember where the blue room is. I don't know if you need to add me on Steam to give me. I my account is hidden, so I can add you later. The center room? Oh, okay. Then I'll go back to the center one. Bum bum bum. He's but he's in the tower. The, the tower? I mean, this is the center room, but just at the top. Wait. If you circle smash, you can get a hidden boss? Wait, I never knew this! Okay, center of the room? Probably right here, huh? Uh, not this? If you circle smash... Is this it? Oh, wait for them to circle me? <gasps> They're doing something! and repeat a lot if you fuck up. Oh, that one! <laughs> you want me to play Shadow Tactics on stream? I could try. We could play like a little bit or something. But yeah, normally games like that I do play off stream. <clears throat> Block the buddy. Oh, he's about to mess Vivian up though. This is not great. And she can't attack. Okay. How much HP does this guy have? Oh, no, I understood now. Yeah, my brain is very slow, but I got you, I got you. Okay, she's dead. They're, they're, I can't really do anything. 
I guess I can use... Uh... Oh, what can I do? What can I... Ah! There we go. Now he can't hit Vivian anymore. Can you not jump? Um, I can't jump with Vivian. Mm -mm. But I can jump with Mario. Hey, got it. Oh, I keep forgetting to style with her. I forget where to style, though. Uh, there we go. At least Mario is the only one getting beaten up now. I do wish that we had Goombala, so I could have tattled on him. Okay, there we go. Looks like it's Crutch is burning! <laughs> My man's is gone, Aria! <laughs> That's amazing. I'm saving Vivian! You can't stop me! Ah, okay. I pressed the wrong button, but then I pressed the right button and it made me... <gasps> they did it! Did it! And we leveled up! We did it! Thank you! Yeah, and you guys could guide me in shadow tactics. That would be fun. We could do a couple of streams like that. I don't know that I would play the whole game one stream, but like... Um, some of it would be fun. Let us get more BP. We're gonna max out our BP, because apparently BP is broken. <laughs> oh, what is this? Lucky start makes something good happen when you first enter the battle? Huh. I wonder what that is. I'm gonna go out and save real quick. You could big brain stuff. I'm not very good at them. I like, I like Fire Emblem style games and um, stuff like Shadow Tactics, but I'm not the best at it. This is why you keep me around? Yeah, you, you finally got out of your little dungeon and you came here. You need to go back in your dungeon after this, okay? I'll put you in there. Yeah, bussy points! <laughs> Oopsies. That's great. I think... How many vantage points do I have? I have three more to put. Um... Happy heart. What do I want? Cut damage by one HP with the guard action. Oh, that's very good. And then we can get... Wait, increases attack power by five when your partner is in peril? This bitch has been almost dying a while. We're just gonna, we're gonna go Vivian up. She's gonna be so fucking strong. You didn't like bussy points? It's fine, I like the bussy points. So he's probably in his tower, right? That's what you meant? In the upper area? Wait. Oh, they're just regular enemies now. Oh, I don't like this one bit. I want him to go back to just like kind of tickling me. Hmm. Which way is that? Yeah, he's at the top. Okay. Wait, your school got another goat during the summer? <gasps> That's amazing. What an amazing, amazing freaking school. Dude, my jump is so strong. Tap this button. Where is her style point? I don't remember. Your cat's being snuggly. My little storm is being a weirdo. I think he's mad at me and I don't know why. He normally sleeps with me. But I put a pillow on the couch and like his favorite spot and now it's turned into like his ultra favorite spot and he's not snuggling me at night and I think I just need to move his pillow. But it makes me sad that he's choosing a pillow over me. Did you see the cat game straight? Yes, it looks so good. I, I saw the preview a long time ago and I think the game's out now, but I haven't seen any gameplay of it. Is it um as good as the trailer made it look out to be? I mean, it's such a, I don't know. I feel like the concept of being a cat in a game has probably been explored before, but the way that they're doing it in this one looked very good. And he was pooping. <laughs> I mean, that's what happens when you eat. You eat and then you shit. 
It is the way of life. He was just experiencing all of life's joys at once. You love strategy games? I do too. Just bad. Just very bad at them. Wait, there's an achievement for sleeping one hour? Oh my god, that's so cute. I guess he just kind of leaves the remote there and then he does his thing. Let's see, my HP. Okay, yeah, we're all good. TWW2? Ta. Ta. Uh, oh, TWW2. What is TWW2? Meowing a hundred times? Oh, it's so cute! What a good, good game. Yeah, I figured he'd be up here. Oh, Total Warhammer? Mm. You're pretty stubborn to follow me all the way here. Fine, fine, fine. I see, I get it. Let's just put an end to this, shall we? Alright, kids, put on your fighting gloves. Uh, woohoo! It's a me! <laughs> sure thing, Mario. Oh, We're right there with you. This creep couldn't take us on his own, so he teamed up with the Shadow Siren. Well, we certainly won't be letting him do anything to our little Mario. You're gonna taste the pain, Gonzalez style, Shadow Guy. Punch Flurry in the poop. <laughs> Could she feel it? Cause she's a ghost. Wait, you actually have two ghosts on your team. Huh. Yeah, his friends do suck. They don't even realize that it's not him. Just cause he says his catchphrase. <laughs> Very good, my loyal ones. How dare this nameless nobody challenge the green Mario. Mario doesn't really even talk. Mario? The guy who stole your name and body is Mario? That means you're Mario? Uh, wait, do I lie to her? No, I can't lie to this little sweetheart. And hello, Omer. How are you? All this time I was hoping Mario. I feel like an idiot. And welcome to the snack shack. Fitty for the win. Bum, 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 bum. Let's go, you were doing it. <laughs> Mario doesn't say that, he's just bing bing wahoo man. All he says is, Mama Mia, wahaha! <laughs> um, see, your friends ditch you because you don't have the charisma of me. Super Mario! <laughs> I don't remember this fight that much. Let's see... Ah, uh, he has 40 HP! Um... What happens if I kill my partner, though? Hmm... Wait, yeah, where did Vivian go? Vivian! I just leveled her up with BP! <laughs> And she fucking went away. That's not the good. Mario, don't let your guard down, okay? Ah, can't dodge anything. I guess. I wonder what would have happened if I lied. I'm I'm sorry, sis. This Mario is the only person who's ever been kind to me. <gasps> She's coming with me. I've I've made my choice and I'm not turning back. Misos hate loyal except Viv. <laughs> I'm so happy she's back. She's such a little cutie. And she needs to be the one to take damage now, please, because I spent everything on you. Gumbella ain't loyal, that's fine. Gumbella sucks. Uh, I can't find where the stylish part is. How dare you try to do this to the great Super Mario? How dare you? Ah, oh, fuck. Oh, come on, I can't dodge anything. I'm not used to fighting my teammates. Why is Mario's... Okay, okay, so what happened is we were fighting this ghost, and then he stole our body, and now he uh, is Mario, and we are his shadow self or whatever, and we're trying to beat up the fake Mario to get, um, you know, to get our body back. Uh, let's spin up one more time. And this bitch is dead. Really, one HP? Oh, I've almost had it. Super Mario's a heart. And <laughs> I wonder if Mario is actually a Chuni and he just goes around saying his name all the time. And that's why they aren't batting a freaking eye at it. <laughs> okay. Fuck that ghost! 
that nearly made this fight really difficult. Vivian came in clutch. What scares you and makes you go ooh ah? Um, jump scares usually scare me um, a lot. What else gets me? I think just loud noises in general will make me jump. Yeah, she came in clutch. She's gonna be our only partner that we have out from now on, by the way. So get used to seeing Vivian. Well, that and Eggo, because Eggo is our car. Yeah, Mario fucking died, guys. The series is over. Oh. Ah. Hi, in game prices? Mmm, yeah, those are pretty scary as well. I don't think... I think I usually bitch at those, but they don't make me jump. Yeah, did we get shell winked? How could I ever mistake my dear Mario for another... Oh, silly flurry. Should've said his iconic line. I was drinking water and it was so tasty I couldn't bring myself to, uh... To, to say anything. Oh, thank you, Yurichi. Oh, dang it, now, but I forgot to put the egg emote up again. Hmm. So who's this girl, huh? Isn't she one of the shadow sirens you mentioned? Why would Gonzalez pair up with one of these creeps? Oh, not you, Dupless? Oh, okay, okay, good. I did nothing wrong. Snacks did nothing wrong. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh Mario, thanks for sticking up for me. Well, thanks to her, I guess you came through this okay. No sweat, right? <laughs> I mean, yeah, they also animated her tit jiggle, which is very, very weird. Uh, listen, Mario, sorry about earlier. I'd be happy to travel with you if you'll have me. Yeah, yay, she's really doing a party now. Hee hee hee. And she's giving me a diamond. I think I'm married to Vivian now. It just happened. You got a crystal star! Your star power is now five, and we have learned art attack. Wait, Luigi, I'm pregnant. <laughs> that really is some deviant art to your shit right there. Okay, read this to yourself as I drink more water. I'm dehydrated. Ah, so yummy. <coughs> There we go. If someone says they're about to eat goat, I actually do. Um, it does hurt my heart a little bit, but I know goats are very yummy, so it's, it's understandable. But I prefer if you eat other animals like chickens. Eat more chicken, okay? Yeah, but don't don't eat goats. Or if you do, just don't tell me. Don't break my little heart, okay? What am I eating and drinking right now? Oh, I finished all my food before stream. Um, but right now, I'm just drinking some water. And then after I finish this giant cup of water, then I have like a little hydration powder in the kitchen that I'm gonna grab. And you're eating? Wait, wait, you're not eating gold, you're eating sausage. You're eating sausage and honey. Yeah, I do. I do tell kittens I'm disappointed in him a lot. <laughs> Well, you don't eat goat, you eat ass. Good job! That's right. Goat sausage is a thing? I don't think so. But I don't really know. I don't normally eat a lot of meat. Wait, Omer! Don't, don't eat goat! Guys, please don't eat goat! It's not good. It's, we're not, we're not yummy. We're really, we're really bad tasting. Um, Go eat tofu and like... Spinach or something. I don't know. Doesn't sausage have to be pork? I don't know. I don't know what it's, you have to make sausage with. It's just a thing. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. <clears throat> right now they're just telling us about the crystal star. Blobbity blobbity blue. It's not even good text. Wait, why can't you eat tofu? Are you like allergic to soy or something? And I'm a vegan pretty feet. Your <gasps> pixie sticks! Oh my god, I haven't had those in years! What flavor are you having? I used to love going to those like little arcade places that give you tickets and then they would have giant pixie sticks. Oh my god. 
god. Oh my god, they're so yummy. I really like the blue and the red flavor. <laughs> no, goats are not lambs. Me or not. Your ego is as fragile as a tofu block? <laughs> oh no. Hopefully your ego doesn't get damaged. I really like tofu though. I really like to uh, fried tofu, but I like the tofu that's in maple tofu as well because it's just very... I don't know, it's... It's weird to be able to chew something with your tongue. But hold on, let me read some of these tech lines because I kind of like his story arc. Which is more important, carrying out an order or protecting a critical person. I exist for the purpose of a certain person. I wish to exist for the purpose of another. I really do not know what to do. It's about an AI becoming sentient. It's kind of creepy. No, no, never mind. Please forget my musings. I do not know why. I do not skip Yakuza! I read the text! Okay. I do not know why, but it makes me feel unpleasant if I make you worry. Well, in any case, let's have a quiz. <gasps> Guys, I'm smart. I'm gonna score 100. Alright. Princess Peach, please answer these questions. If you can answer five, you may use the communicator. You like the blue and the red flavors too? <gasps> Vegan Pretty Bee. Have you also had fun dip? I used to get fun dip for like every Halloween and I would ask my mom like, can we pass out fun dip? And then I would hide like half of the fun dip packs. <laughs> and I would just eat them in secret. I didn't have to, um... I didn't have to eat candy like in secret or anything, but it's the fact that I hid them away. <laughs> Yeah, fun dip, fun dip. Okay, so I think it has like the pixie stick dust on one side, and then it has like a sugar stick on the on the other side, and then you like lick the sugar stick and then dip it in the pixie dust or whatever. And mm. oh, it's so good! It's so good. Okay, what will happen if you collect seven crystal stars? Um, the thousand year door opens. Correct. Now what? What is the goal of Grotus? Um, to conquer the world. No. What is the legendary treasure that awaits? Oh, and welcome to the snack shop, Code Jack. Um, uh, bum bum. Wait, so you guys like Fun Dip? Yeah! I'm so happy! Yeah, Fun Dip is delicious. I haven't seen it in the stores for a long time, so I don't know if they even make it anymore. Um. Okay, so what's behind the door? A thousand year old demon soul. Correct. Now, what is next? What does Sir Grotus wish to do with the ancient demon soul? Cherish it away? <laughs> Hang out with it? This seems like... The plot to... An anime. Like a new slice of life isekai shit going on. Hang out with a thousand year old demon that you summoned. And now the fifth question. What is required to seal up the demon again? Probably the crystal stars. Okay, I did it. I am the ultimate life form. I get no questions wrong. Wake him up for Snoop Snoop. <laughs> okay, after this, um, I'm gonna go get a drink of water real quick. Is it similar to a few titles? It seems like it would have been a thing. I, I don't know any ones that are like that, but it has to be around. <gasps> Wait, they do make fun dips still? Ah, fuck. I haven't seen it. I need to look harder. Because I know stores change their stock based on where you live. So maybe I just need to travel elsewhere to go get me some fun dip. The time you reincarnate. <laughs> yeah, that's a good one. That's a good one, Bolt. Oh, look, Air Milk, you didn't miss uh, the glizzy pit because uh, Bowser might go there again. My lord, I have received ports of a great secret in the floating town of Glitzville. Wait, that's not my old lady voice. What is my old lady voice? Um, let's ride there on the cheap blum. Guys, I forgot how to be an old lady. <laughs> no, I haven't heard about the Willy Wonka film. Tell me about it. I don't know, isn't it? Is it like a sequel? Did they do a sequel? I don't know. I watched the Willy Wonka movie like once or twice when I was a kid. It was never something that I really got behind. Some people fucking love that movie and they reference it all the time, but I don't, I didn't, it was just something I watched. Oh, a prequel of Willy Wonka when he's young? Huh, that could be interesting. Well, thank you, Omer. I will, I will try to do it right now, okay. 
go. Ha, ha, ha. Forget that, Wimpy Blimpy. I'll be riding this baby. I snuck in the Glitzville before. Guys, I don't know what happened on my voices. Ah. It's, it's okay, wait, Lord Bowser, please. Now my special Driggable Deluxe Brown Bag Cami lunch will go to waste. Oh, she made him lunch. That's cute. Wait. Okay, yeah, the Charlie Factory one is the same movie, right? Because mm. if you're about to tell me that there's a Willy Wonka movie and a Charlie the Factory movie or whatever, and they're not the same, I'm gonna lose my shit because I thought they were the same this entire time. Oh my god, Bowser is fucking dying. Wait, there's two? I know there's like a really old one, and then there was a newer one that came out. I think I watched both of them, though. Same story, different film title. Oh. oh this makes me want to play Mario. We tied it out there! I don't know that I want to make it big. But we will. This is awesome. Okay. Yeah, I want to play. I want to play like the classic Mario again. Maybe we can play it on stream sometime. I'm not very good at it, but I really like it. Wait, what the fuck is an x not doing? Why is the x not raining from the sky? Wait, there's like a little stream on that. Oh, and it's based on a book? I can tell you I 100% did not know that. Okay, yeah, this is why I wanted to go big so that we could be invincible. But still get stuck on boxes, apparently. I like that you're too big to go through the freaking pipe anymore. Wait, what happens then? Can we step on this? Oh! Oh, he's like their love child? That's pretty interesting. The, the fact that they could cast someone to look like that. But then again, I'm always bad at telling whether or not people are related. Because I don't have face blindness or anything, but... I... I don't know, so many people just look so similar to me. I always confuse them. And it happens with like, everybody. I don't know. Bum, bum, bum. Okay, now we got Bowser the Koopa King. Someone help! He's gonna eat us. Does any- Oh wait, she went to Glizpit! <laughs> oh, she came back with like, touristy stuff. I love it. It sounds like your face blind. Well, when I like read up on face blindness, it's like people have the inability to like even remember what loved ones look like. And I don't have that. Like, I know what my family looks like, but if I've seen like a celebrity in a movie, I'll be like, oh, it was them in this film. And um, I'm wrong every single time. Cause just like so many celebrities and like random people look the same to me. Boom, boom, boom. So I don't think I don't think I have true face blindness. I just think I'm face dumb. Okay. <laughs> she liked it. Glitzville was fantastic. The fights were so cool. <laughs> I was overcome. Why even at my age I was shaking what my mama gave me. This bitch was twerking on stage. And then the hot dogs. Oh my gracious. Yummerly. You have fun too, right? Okay, bye bye, Yurichi. I hope you have a good time eating. I would be mad too if I went and got stuck under the ocean and then my friend went to Glitzville and had a great time. But forget it, it's over. Go get me some solid info on Crystal Peach and the Crystal Stars now! Okay, now I'm gonna go get water as soon as we're out of place with some good music so that you guys can, you know, cat jam while I'm gone. Because I need to mix the powder into my water. How's this music? Is this music good enough for you? This music sucks. We'll, we'll wait. Um, did we hurt your feelings? Yeah, a little bit. You guys didn't know it wasn't me. Er, well, all right. It's okay to be in touch with your feelings. So that <laughs> Were you in bad with names of things? Ah, unfortunately, I'm bad at both. But. When I go to an area, I'll like really get triggered by like my old memories there, if that makes sense. Not like triggered in a bad way, like it'll just remind me of the things that I've done when I was there. But if you ask me what I did when I'm not there, I, I won't be able to remember. Things are very location and scent based to me. 
Okay, yeah, we need to go to Rosport. Okay, let's do it. Bye bye. Bye bye, you old people. We're never gonna get rid of Vivian. She's with us forever. I have not read. Actually, that's not true. Wait, is he using a DS? No. Wait, he's using an SP, isn't he? What? That's an SP. Wait. I'm fucking dumb as shit. It even says it's a mailbox SP. That's so cool. I never had an SP. But my friend did and they look so cool because they had like a proper backlight. I didn't have a proper backlight until I got a DS. <gasps> That's so cool! I just... I can't believe I didn't notice that until now. The things you realize when you are older and wiser. You liked yours? She had a lime green one. And so it was like really cool because I hadn't seen that kind of color before. I think the game is sped up and I didn't even realize it. Hold on. I will put it down to the normal speed so that you guys can listen to non-bastardized music. Yeah, it's at 110% speed. There you go. Okay, do, let me have some Pepe jams while I'm gone so I know you guys don't hate me for getting water and staying hydrated. BRB. I'm back. Thank you for the Pepe <laughs> And the Wigglies. Oh, Elliot has a Wiggly? Oh, wait. I have an Elliot submarine now? Hello. Thank you, whoever gave this to me. Fuck, I didn't even send a thank you message. I'll do that after the stream. Oh, he has some good emotes. Okay, hold on. I get distracted easily. <laughs> there we go. That's awesome. One day I'll make a wiggly emote for myself. I just need a... Okay. Maybe... 
In two weeks or something, I can learn how to do any more. Okay. Um, also, I am going to speed up the game to like 200%. So if you don't like that, I can turn on the music. Uh, but we're just doing the same old path where we go give the crystal star to like the door or something. And it's just like a little repeat event. And honestly, I don't know why the fuck they put this in the game. <laughs> We fast as fuck, boy! Also, I need to do this real quick. Um, we can do Vivian. Yup. Shizobi! This looks so cool, sped up. And she's a little sparkly. She's a sparkly girl. Wait. An error occurred? Uh. I ignore. Apparently, I'm giving my computer lots of errors since uh, we're playing at 200% speed. <laughs> I think all games need to have this functionality implemented in them. Because, like, I don't care if I'm playing on a console or if I'm playing on an emulator. I want the ability to speed up the game. Look at this shit, let's go! Okay, but the next area of the game, I really, really enjoy, so I hope you like it too. Um, it's more of a plot-filled area than this one was, and there's like some cool character development in it, so I really enjoy it. And I'm gonna be reading you guys a lot more of the text in this next chapter. So we need to, we need to decide on some voices early on. I need to figure out how to do an old an old voice again. I don't know what happened. <laughs> I lost my ability today to do anything like that. Oh, and it's blue. It's a blue star. Okay, now where do we go? What the fuck is wrong with her tail? It's not normally like that, right? It looks all, um... Fucked up. It looks very gross right now. Okay. We should go up to the professor's office. Okay, cool. Whoa, 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 what? That was written in Princess Peach's email. The legendary treasure is actually a spirit of an ancient demon. And those fiends want to use this crystal star to resurrect it? Oh, okay. This is rather long, so you better listen well. Listen up to, um... Okay. It's fine. The great cataclysm that I read about in that book may as well refer to this demon. Yeah, maybe it was a, an, a, an effect. I don't know though. It says that a monster destroyed a large town that once stood on this very area. It also says that the seven crystal stars were actually created by this monster. And then this thing used the power of the crystal stars to try to control the world. Hold on, let me turn down the speed so that we have normal music again. Because I don't know, something about this sped up music just gives me stress. Well, I can't find the configuration. There we go. Oh, that's much better. No more Nightcore Mario. Oh, you're right, it's still looking like that. Oh, that's weird. I never noticed this, but you know, TVs back in the day were a lot smaller. Okay, according to the book, the demon was defeated in the end by four heroes, but only the beast's physical form was destroyed. Its spirit could not be eradicated. So the heroes used the crystal stars, which they had stolen from the demon, and they cast the evil beast into the depths of a vast maze and stealed the exit. Yeah, I have played Doki Doki Literature Club. Really, which scene? I played it all in like one night. It was kind of like a blurry haze. I don't remember specifics about like music. I remember like overall how to like beat the game and all the cool stuff that happened, but the music escapes me. Okay, um, so if they're all united, they could either seal or resurrect the demon. It seems that whoever wields the crystal stars determines if they're used for evil or good. Oh, that was my shoulder. Wait, what do you mean it's so bad? I liked the game a lot, but it was like a little bit spooky. 
But I liked the game. I, I don't know. I liked that there was like stuff that it messed with in the files and that if you messed with the files, then it would react to it. I love shit like that. Oh, you mean it's very sad? It is very sad, but there's a happy ending. Um, she asked, does anyone think it might be better to destroy the stars once and for all? Um, that was my first thought, but further research suggests we can't do that. Is when they start arguing. Ah, that is a rough part. Yeah, it was a very neat experience. Indeed, indeed. I really thoroughly enjoyed it. But I, it took me so long. I had to look up how to get, like, the true ending. And, um... I never did it. I was like, oh, fuck this. I'm not doing that. But the fact that it existed made me happy. Because, like, in most games, there's, like, a pretty straightforward way to do it. And, like, I, I was on the right track to beating it. I don't want to say how to actually do it. But in case people, for some reason, still haven't played it or don't know. But I really enjoyed it. And what was the meta experience? Welcome back, Bolt. Um, we were talking about Doki Doki Literature Club. Mana 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 Hold on, let me get the important parts of the text right here. It's not really important enough to read out loud, though. Okay. It makes everything so futile, but you can... You can save them! They can have a happy ending! It's just... It's up to you. It's up to you to get them that. Let's see... How do I get the good... Uh... -huh? I remember where I need to go, but not how to get there, really. I think maybe it's up here, though? <laughs> no. Hmm. So this is the part where Snax doesn't remember how to get to the next area. I know we have to talk to the guy that's in this house, and that we can get up there. <gasps> oh! Okay, never mind. I just had like a little brain blast. I got it. Shh, shh. I got it. I'm gonna amaze you guys. Okay. So there's a door that's been locked from the inside. And you can get through it over here. I think I didn't. Okay, I did it. I did it. You couldn't save the childhood friend? Oh, you can save her. You can save her. There is a good end. You can do it. Just go back and play the game. I don't remember what happens with the happy end, but I just- I know there is at least one good ending. Okay. I have no interest in passing the time with you, so sorry. Now away with you. Okay, I got my old lady voice back! Now away with you. Oh, wait, now I don't remember what to do. I thought I needed this- I thought I needed this bomb man. Hmm? Yeah, just Monica. Have I sang that song on stream? I don't think I have. Um, ask about the harbor. Okay. Cause the song that is famous in that game is very easy to sing, and maybe I can do it during the next karaoke. Bang, 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 bang. Oh wait, I think this is faster. <laughs> A little bit of Monica on my mind. <laughs> not that one, not that one. That's a very old song. But that is funny. What do you want? Key Hall Key? That's the cursed island. Don't get mixed up for the for your sake. Um, hold on. There was a guy that I gave money to. Can this fucker come back and give me my money, please? <laughs> Where is he? There was a little rat. I gave him 200 coins. He was supposed to be like an investor. I don't know. He was putting in Bitcoin or Ethereum or something like that. But he had glasses and he looked smart, so I trusted him. Okay, see that ship docked there? She belongs to Flavio, the merchant trader. He doesn't sail too often, though. Mostly he hangs out at Padley's doing. Oh, yeah, that's right. Flavio. Flava Flav. My guy. But have there been other, like, games that are as popular as that? I feel like I never really hear when new trends come around. Like, there was Doki Doki Literature Club, and then there was like the Untitled Goose Game. Has there been like another big indie hit since then? There has, I can't really think of it. Hmm. Oh yeah, every time 
Luigi comes back, he has a new partner because it's kind of cool. Luigi, he goes off on his own adventures. Okay, but I'm not gonna read it to you. We'd have to have like a little whole saga towards it because his stories are very, very long, but I enjoyed reading them when I was a kid. Okay, monetary wealth gives me freedom, yes! And freedom gives me wealth of spirit! And I don't like his ticks, but what am I missing from my life? Let's see... Uh, probably romance. Romance, you say? Ah, I suppose one does need some romance in life. Wait, is Flavio supposed to be, like, Spanish, you think? Okay, what other sweet delectable fruit could make so many wonderful pasta sauces? Oh yeah, maybe because he's talking about pasta sauce. Not romance, you silly man. What I needed is romance. Okay, yeah, I think he's... <laughs> I think he's not French. Oh yeah, Deltarune? Ah, that's right. I've been waiting for Deltarune to get finished before I play it. Mmm, that's right, Valheim too. I didn't get on either of those trains. Valheim because it costs money, but then Deltarune because I'm waiting for it all. Um... Inscription? I haven't heard of inscription. And uh, welcome back, Yurichi. Did you have a good meal? What did you eat? Hold on, let me look up inscription. Wait, ninety-eight percent of people like this game. It has a ten on ten on Steam. It's a rogue-like deck-building game. It was released from Microsoft Windows. Oh. Oh, that's cool. It is such a high rating. Wow. The spaghetti of meatballs, that is yummy. Don't read any more than that? Okay. Would it ruin the experience if I read any more than that? Is it like if you hear too much about Madoka, it, do it doesn't have the same effect? And hello, Vicky. Well, do I need to give it a shot at some point? And welcome to the snack. Corn dog! I love corn dogs. I'm so I got too excited. <laughs> um. Spoilers are wild. Okay, okay, don't tell me anymore. Don't tell me anymore. I got it. I, I understand the concept now. Okay, now that I'm thinking of it, I once heard of the treasure of Cortez, the Pirate King. Yes, this is the answer. Oh, such happiness for me. A hunt for pirate treasure. I'm sorry, he's gonna be French. Why the just shrieks of romance and thrills and emotion and even money? But I can't do, I can't do a French accent. <laughs> what happens in Monica? There are some people here who still haven't seen it, but get to at least episode 3 of Madoka. Because that's when it becomes a really good show, and then and once you get to episode 3, you won't stop until you're done with the show. I don't know how a card game can have spoilers. I was kind of wondering that as well, but it seems like there's a plot at least. Bum, ba -dum, bum. They're just saying Key Hall Key is um, cursed, but there's a treasure there, and Flavio, he likes money. So he wants to go there. And we're also looking for a treasure here in Rogueport. Why talk such craziness? There isn't anything like that in this dull armpit. <laughs> no, 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 no. Yeah. Wait, it's a cute magical anime? Well, I mean, that does happen because one of the side characters is the best girl and I have her as my butt pout right here. <laughs> Okay, I have a treasure map. Here you go, man. Yeah, he said the uh, this was a little dirt, dull armpit. Oh, <laughs> thank you, vegan pretty feet. Bum, 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 bum. Well, now I'm confused. You're looking for things known as the crystal stars. Do you guys care about this text? Cause I don't really care about this text, so I'm gonna skip it. But it, Flavio is gonna offer his ship to us. And his story isn't the cool part. We're gonna get to another cool part, okay? I really like this next chapter. I was looking up on Google before... What chapter was next, and I was very happy. Like, as soon as I saw it was this one, like, my eyes lit up again. Because I keep telling you guys, there's so many banger chapters in this game. Okay, what now, Flavia? Well, sadly, a slight problem seems to have popped up. But feast your eyes on this outrageously fantastic ship. Okay, he's talking about his ship now. Okay. He, he really likes his ship. <laughs> um, the SS Flavion, she bewitches me. 
Oh, we have no navigator. Okay. So we need to go find a, a navigator. Happy sugar life? <gasps> I... Hold on, let me make sure it's the one I'm thinking of. Because I think I watched like... Ah! I'm sorry. I, I, I dropped my controller. <laughs> I think I watched like a couple of episodes of Happy Sugar Life. But I didn't finish it. But it, it seemed like a show that was going to be a guilty pleasure. Let me make sure. Oh, yeah! I was... I did watch... I watched, like, half of it in one night, and I meant to go back to it. Is it good? Is it twisted anime? It seemed like, like, a fucked up guilty pleasure that I wanted to binge, but I never got back to it. I need to watch it. I need to finish it. It is a guilty pleasure. <laughs> I, it, it felt, I felt very trashy watching it. <laughs> and, like, I watch a lot of trashy shows, and so I didn't think it would really affect me, but that one... That one is something. All right, they're talking about um, there needs to be a navigator, and they know of somebody named Bobbery, and then Flavio designates us as the Bobbery finder. Um, what did I feel trashy watching? Happy Sugar Life. It's good, but so weird. Yeah, because like M Mirai Nikki is also kind of like a guilty pleasure. Like it's not the best show. But goddamn, it's like the characters are a train wreck and I can't stop watching it because they're a train wreck. It, I don't know. It has like the same like, feeling as when I watch trash TV. Mirai Nikki is legitimately good. It has its good parts. There are some weird twists and turns, but overall I would say it's good. But it, it's, uh, I don't know. People really shit talk it a lot. <laughs> They don't, like, I don't know, whenever I mention it, people are like, Oh, you like that? Oh, it's such a bad show. It's like, damn, I like it, though. Wait, okay, you see Admiral Bobbery? Never heard of the gent? It's you! You are Admiral Bobbery! Come with me, you little fucktard! Ah, how do I get him? Yeah, it's very... Okay, well, if you like it too, I'm feeling better about my choices. Um... Hmm... How do I get Admiral Bobbery? This... This man is lying! Hmm... Bobbery? The old sea dog lives in the east side house right next door. They say he was a great and important sailor long ago. Yeah, I, he just says he's not Bobbery though. Your favorite character was Ifat's Girl? <gasps> Ifat's Girl was very good in Mirai Nikki. I agree as well. Okay, oh, here we go. Drop the axe, Super Stash. We already found out that you are Admiral Bobbery. Hmm, well, Poppycock, tell me, what would you want with me, this chap? Oh, wait. Should I do like a fake British voice or should I make him an old woman? <laughs> I can't do a fake old woman British voice. I can't combine them. Okay. You say your ship needs a navigator and you want me to do the job. Mm -mm. So sorry, but you'll have to look elsewhere. I shall set sail upon the sea nevermore. Do a butcher accent? I can't do a butcher accent. He has the best accent though. Oh my god. Butcher? I don't know. He has a very good voice. I hope that... He becomes a voice actor or something. Like, yeah, he's good at acting, whatever. I want his voice in every show, though. So he needs to become a voice actor. Okay. Bum -bum. Awfully sorry, my dear boy. But when I say no, what I mean is no. Carl Urban? Is that his name? I didn't know. I don't really know people's names. Um, uh, let's see. What should we do to get this man? What's his beef with this? Oh, oh yeah, what did you guys think about the finale for the boys? Can can we talk about the boys for a second and have like some spoiler discussion? Has everyone here finished it if they're in the process of watching it? Because if not, I can hold out for a little bit longer. Oh no, he probably just told me where I needed to go and I didn't read it. Yeah, Anthony Starr is very good. Don't spoil it. Damn it, I want to talk about it. <laughs> ah! <laughs> I want to talk about it. Fine, I won't spoil it. But I'm mad at the ending too. 
Can I spoil it though when you guys just go away for a second? <laughs> I don't mean like go away in a rude way, I just mean... Okay, no, leave for five minutes. I'll get it out of my system. I need to rant for a second. Here. I will... Okay, you've seen it? Spoiler zone now. Okay. Spo spoiler on screen? Okay. The... The boys spoiler discussion. Please mute. This, this might do it. There, there you go. I'll remove this when we're done talking about it, okay? Okay, now this is a spoiler zone. And it's fine. Nobody's gonna get salty. <laughs> um, you wanna hear the ending? No, you wanna watch it, Omer. You wanna watch it go away. Sh mute me. Mute me for now. Okay, so... I felt like... The fight and the scenes were cool. But not much fucking developed this season. Like, everything kind of happened in the last episode, and it undid any of the progress that was being made. And, like, yes, I enjoyed watching the season, but as, like, the last episode was progressing, I'm like, fucking nothing has been accomplished. They didn't kill Homelander. They, like, I don't know, like, they got, they did all of this work to get a weapon, and they didn't kill a Homelander. Maeve is still alive, she just is powerless. Um, Soldier Boy, he's back in Russia. The only thing that really happened was that Starlight now doesn't work at Vought, and what happened, what else? Butcher's gonna die, which I think they'll figure out something to make him not die, but I don't, I don't feel like there was progress. I don't feel like a lot happened, um, to move the plot along, so I'm kind of upset in that regard, but I didn't... I didn't hate the overall season, if that makes sense. But what are your guys' opinions on it? He works at the end's cafe. Okay, we need to go to him. Mm. Yeah, there were a lot of stupid fucking choices that happened. But I feel like The Boys is just a series of stupid choices, the show. Because there were less stupid choices on Huey's part this season, I think. But in season two, there were so many times it felt like I was watching, um, I don't know, like one of those shows that revolves around a middle school anime girl. Because this man was just doing nothing that made sense. He was just like, oh, I don't know. I'm not going to tell you my feelings right now. I'm just going to go be weird and do some fucky shit. And he just does that for the entirety of season two. And um, so I'm, I don't know. I didn't feel like there was that many choices that made me feel mad except for the last fucking episode where there was a chance for i even forgot this name's this, the dude's name soldier boy to kill homelander and instead they just started fighting him they, they, they couldn't have just scooped up the fucking kid and being like hey don't kill the kid but you know kill homelander now okay great thanks like it was such a fucking weird thing that went down um let's see Mave is powerless and Newman is VP. Okay. He's held by Mallory now. Butcher is on his deathbed. Starlight left Vought. Homelander is completely unchained. The seven are completely finished. Okay. But I feel like all of that happened in the last episode. Like, sure, there was some, like, lead up to it. But I feel like m almost all of the major plot points that happened in season, what are we on, three, happened in the very last episode. And so that's why I felt very unsatisfied. <laughs> it's like, I want there to be a lot of major developments in the middle. And I was really mad about Noir's death because they, I don't know, they gave him finally some screen time. And they're like, all right, we're going to kill him in a dumb way. So I was also mad about that. Like, why did you make me look about look at his story? I wasn't even like very emotionally invested in him yet. They just killed him. Yeah, the pacing was very, very weird. That is my biggest complaint, pumpkin. That is it. Yeah. Yeah, he wasn't a bigger danger than Homelander, except he had that weird like trigger to Russian music or something. And hello, hello, uh, Ernie. I'm good. How are you? We're talking about the boys right now, so I'm sorry if you haven't seen it. We're, I'm just getting butt mad about it. Um. Oh, and welcome to the snack shack, Ernie John. Thank you. What is the finale meant to be? Huh? But like, 
I want there to be some major developments along the way. I don't want them to all happen in like the last 30 seconds. You know? I don't know. I felt like the pacing was weird. And like going into the last episode, there wasn't much development and then it all just fucking happened. Okay, are you guys ready to hear a sad story in the video game though? Um, yeah, I enjoyed Soldier Boy's character as well. I was very sad when they're just like, all right, you tried to kill a kid, you're out of here now. I got all the things. Um, make him insecure. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. It does make sense. Because I don't know. There's like a big power difference. Guys are, I don't know. They usually view themselves as like the strong one in the relationship. And the fact that Starlight was stronger than him, I think that would make a lot of people insecure. Um, mm hmm. Why was Starlight mad about him using V24? I don't know. That part was weird as well. Maybe that... He, no, he didn't even hide the fact. I don't know. I really don't know. Maybe because it was experimental. But in the end, it seems like it was his choice. And she shouldn't have been mad about it. Yeah, they might bring him back. Couldn't Victoria Newman kill a Homelander? Um, she might be able to... She clearly could damage Starlight. So... May maybe? But Starlight's a lot weaker. It might just take her some time and then... Unless she's like... Protected, then... I don't think she would have a chance to kill Homelander in time. Homelander would just go and like... Fucking smack her head off her neck. <laughs> and welcome to the snack shack, bird boy. Because it was an untested experimental drug. I mean, she was right. She was totally right. She had every right to be mad because it was an experimental drug. Um, can somebody tell me? Maybe it's been so long since I've seen season one and two. Why didn't they just give Huey like regular V? Because like they were able to re they were able to give it to Victoria's daughter, and she was fine. And they were able to snag um, a non experimental V for. Kimiko. So why couldn't they just give like Huey and Butcher like real V? I feel like they're gonna make Butcher live by giving him V and then he's gonna be all hunky dory and fine and healthy. I feel like that's gonna be the next plot. You guys wanna do plots for shots on that? <laughs> but what are your what are your other opinions on it? I thought it was an okay season. I wasn't I don't know. It was okay. I I enjoyed it. I'm not gonna say I didn't enjoy it and try to be like a little snooty booty. I enjoyed it. I would watch it again. Overall, I liked it. Annie will stop that? Oh, you're right. She probably will. And hello, Yoroki. Mm. It can be rejected and result in death. That makes sense if she's already taken it. But what, the, the, um, the, the head poppy lady, they gave it to... Her daughter and the daughter was fine, but maybe it's because it was already in her blood a little bit because she had a kid. I'm not really sure. Mm. Oh, yeah, I definitely think Butcher will end up taking the full V. I definitely think that's going to happen. I want Huey to take it. I wish Huey had a better power, though. <laughs> this is just very comical, like just teleporting around and... <laughs> I feel like he has the weakest power. I don't know what you could do. Like, unless he learned how to control it and, like, literally um, teleport in somebody's body and then explode them from the inside, I don't think it could be really that powerful. But I guess some abilities are more support tools, which Huey seems to be anyways. Oh. <clears throat> That's true, I guess we haven't seen Newman's daughter again, but I, I feel like if her daughter died from using V, she would have been sad. And we would have had some sad scenes. So since Homelander can take high amount of physical damage, she might not be strong enough? Oh, that makes sense. Mm, mm -hmm. I guess, yeah, kids are sometimes better at recovering from stuff like that. So it does make sense that they would be able to take V more regularly than fully grown adults. Yeah, you're right. His was just mainly to ensure that if he got smacked around, he would die. <laughs> but his actual ability... You know, I'm complaining about it. Being like, oh, it's not a super useful ability. And I don't think it's that useful in combat. But goddamn, wouldn't that be useful if you could just teleport somewhere? I fucking hate driving. If I could just teleport... Oh, I wouldn't have clothes when I got there. I think I would get arrested. 
Never mind, his ability sucks. <laughs> he needs to just like get body paint on him every time he goes out. You know, like how they have those model runway shows with everybody's body just being painted. I feel like that's what I feel like that's what Huey needs. Homelander just has more power. Um, I don't know. It felt like Homelander was. Maybe a little bit weaker. Oh, that's what you said. Never mind. I agree with that. Yeah, the fact that I can't believe how fucking strong Butcher would be as a superhero. And it makes my heart sad that he doesn't have V already. But I feel like he would also hate himself. You know, like you end up like fighting against something so long that you become part of it or something like that. And there's a phrase like that, and that's exactly what's going on in Butcher. Yeah, maybe it's because Homelander's emotional state was all over the season as well. I feel like maybe his powers could change based on your emotional state. Just a little bit. Just a teeny tiny bit. Yeah, that's it. That's the kittens. He who fights monsters become monsters, and that's exactly what happened. I'm so happy for Maeve, though. I'm so happy she didn't die, and that she gets to live her life with her lady. That's so fucking cute. She finally got a happy ending after she's been struggling for so hard. At least someone got a happy ending this season, and it was Maeve. She's been on a roller coaster of a ride, and she has finally hopped off. Yeah, Soldier Boy is too strong. I agree. That Maeve survived the explosion. It's so fucking dumb. It is. She should have died. I. She should have died. I don't. I didn't think she was that strong. And it seemed like she was gonna die. And then when she didn't die, sure. I was happy, but like my gut reaction was like, oh, what the fuck? Why is she? Why is this bitch still alive? <laughs> It wasn't happiness, it was just like, come on guys! You can't just pick and choose favorites, but I am... You know, now that the dust has settled in my mind, I'm happy for her. I'm not butt mad, but I do think she should have died. Yeah, it didn't break my suspension of disbelief. I was just like, oh, I guess I didn't know how strong she was. Um... How did she survive the 20-story fall? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yep. That, that, okay. Yeah, that doesn't make any sense at all, does it? <laughs> well, do, do your powers fizzle out immediately? Or do you have, like, some lingering powers for a little bit? So maybe they could have come in clutch at, like, the last second. No, I guess for Kimiko, they went away right away because she wasn't able to heal. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, maybe should have fucking died. Oh, she's leaving the show? Oh, I guess they didn't sign her back on. Is that what happened? That would make more sense if it was related to um, character contracts. But yeah, no, it didn't make sense. Fuck you, kittens, for pointing that out. It makes me even more upset now. <laughs> yeah, the whole last episode was like that. Indeed. Indeed, indeed. I'm still so mad that they stopped Soldier Boy from killing Homelander. Like, what the fuck? That was the biggest what the fuck moment. And then I felt so bad for Butcher. He like... He like told the kid to fuck off, not because he hated him, but it was like one of those things... Where you tell somebody you just like them to protect them, and like now it is like full on backfiring on him, and the kid is gonna become a little shit. <laughs> that sucks, that hurts my soul. <clears throat> Oh yeah, maybe you're right. The me power might leave slower. Mm, mm, mm. You, you want a cute ghost hug? Okay. Okay, you can get a cute ghost hug in a second. <laughs> but hello, big daddy. Wait, no, big dong daddy dom. Welcome back. We're just talking about the boys, but I think we should go back to the game soon. You think Butcher will kill Ryan in the end? I hope not. That would break my heart. I don't want everything. Going negatively for Butcher, I want him to have some semblance of happiness. And I think if he killed Ryan, and if he had to kill Ryan, 
I think Butcher's character arc would be over. I think there's no coming back from that. I think he would just have sad boy vibes for the rest of the show. And so I really hope they don't have to kill Ryan off by Butcher's hands. That would be the absolute worst. I would not be happy with that. Yeah, no. I wouldn't like that one bit. Yeah, I wouldn't even my wife's son. My favorite take on don't ever talk to me or my son again is when I, I change it. Don't ever talk to me or my wife's son again. <laughs> it's such... I don't know. I fucking lost my shit. I could not. It like really ruined the moment for me because the, the kind of shit I don't... I don't know. It triggers like my little funny bone. Homelander's a mess but you like him? Um, I like how much I hate him. <laughs> it's good to have like such a evil character in a show, but I, I like him because I hate him so much. Like, he's a piece of shit and I want him to die. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm under fucked your wife. <laughs> that was very funny. Uh, yeah, it is not his son, but he could have, like, adopted him and been his son. You know, there are cases like that. It's fine. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, you should not be hearing this if you haven't watched this show, because it's a very good show. But hopefully you have a bad memory, and when you eventually go to watch this, this good show, you won't remember any of this. <laughs> his breast milk obsession is weird. <laughs> well, let me tell... No, wait, that's a weird spoiler. Never mind. Um, Soldier Boy scenes were your favorite? I really liked Soldier Boy scenes because, I don't know, it kind of showed how far we've come because, like, some things weren't normal back then and they're normal now and, like, you and I wouldn't bat an eye at some of the things that he saw but for him, he was like, what the fuck? People do that? W what is going on? And so it kind of made me happy to see that some things have become normalized. Yeah, there's titty milk. There is titty milk in the show. There you go. There's your little reason to watch it. There's a man who drinks titty milk, is an obsession with milk, and in every fucking season, he has a weird milk scene. This one was, I think, the most tame, actually. Yeah, I like watching his character. I like watching his actor and how he's portrayed. He does such a good job. I get chills and like, I don't know, every time he comes on the screen, I'm just like, oh god, you're so fucking creepy and despicable. Oh my, what? <laughs> I was trying to sell the show to Big Daddy Dong or whatever. <laughs> Your name, I keep saying it wrong. I'm just gonna call you, um, we'll just call you Dom. You know, you, you have to sell different parts of the show to different people. And I thought that was the part of the show that would make him watch it. Because he got excited by titty milk. <laughs> yeah, I felt blessed when he didn't drink it from the udder as well. Though I can't say I don't... Never mind. I'm gonna drink my water. Hold on. I nearly said something cursed. I want to drink fresh cow milk. There we go. I'll just... I'll leave it at that. Not from the udder. Not anything weird like that. But I do just want to drink fresh cow milk. Though it would be weird because it comes out warm, right? Warm milk just sounds... Actually, warm milk people drink it before bed. It seems normal. <laughs> that is a great sentence. And hello, Earthbound fan. How are you doing? <laughs> I feel like you would. <laughs> I don't want to drink from the udder. I just want to milk a cow. I want to milk a cow. I want to know what it's like. It's on my bucket list. It's part of my bucket list, just milking a cow. I think I would have a hard time with it. I don't think I, I could get like more than one or two squirts before my poor arthritic hands give out. But if I get out like even a teeny bit, even in like a teeny tiny bit, I'll be happy and my my bucket list will be fulfilled. Is this chapter 5? Yeah, we're on chapter 5 now. We just finished up chapter 4. We're taking a small break for a discussion, and then we'll be continuing. But he's credible. I mean, let's be honest. If you 
were strong like a fucking god in this world, would you not be arrogant? I think you can only keep yourself in check for so long if you have godlike powers. Oh, and welcome to the snack shack, Captain Two Face. For some reason, that, the notification scared me. So, I mean, the fact that he's not more off the rails shows that maybe he's not like a complete piece of shit. Wait, why am I suddenly wanting to be Homelander? Wait, I don't want to be Homelander. What are you talking about? Oh, with the cow. I just, no, I've wanted to milk a cow for a long time. Spoilers over? About weeb stuff? Yeah, are we? Are we done talking about the boys? I don't know, it seems like we're still talking about it a little bit. Yeah. It seemed like... I don't know, Soldier Boy... We don't really get to see how despicable of a person he was beforehand. We just know that his team wanted him dead. But... I don't know, it seemed like he genuinely loved the Crimson Countess. And, um... So, I don't know. The people he wanted to kill all seem like scumbags as well. It's not like they were saints. <laughs> um, so, I I liked Soldier Boy's character. He didn't seem like a complete scumbag. Yeah, I was, I was the original Homelander. I wanted to drink cow milk. <laughs> That's the only way that, way that we're similar, though. <laughs> um... Uh, you got curious when you saw me play Kirby? Ah! Yes, yes, I do like to play a lot of retro games. I don't normally indulge myself in them, but I do enjoy them. So thank you, thank you for coming back. Um, yeah, I don't think they wanted Soldier Boy to be worse than Homelander. I think they wanted us to think that Soldier Boy was going to turn on Homelander's side. And they got me. They really, really got me. I'm like, oh shit, he said he wanted a son. He got a son now. He's gonna do it. They're gonna team up. The world is fucked. But when he fucking delivered that line to Homelander, where he called him a disappointment, I was... I fucking felt bad for Homelander, and I hate him. Like, that was... That was really good writing. I can't believe they made me feel bad for Homelander for a second. Yeah, exactly. The only reason Soldier Boy killed random people is because I think he was brainwashed or something. <laughs> it was a very different circumstance. Yeah, Butcher has done some pretty fucked up shit in his day. I agree. You would use them to get nuggies? <laughs> David, I was literally... So somebody super powers teleportation, I'm not telling you who. Um, I would also use it to get fast food or something. <laughs> I, my life would be great. Oh man, I'm hungry. I don't want to get out of bed. I just teleport out of bed straight to the fridge. Like fuck, that's that's perfect. That is that is wonderful to me. Um, yeah, Homelander looked really sad in that scene. Yeah, but they didn't do a good job of making him be the bad guy. I like Soldier Boy. He they didn't. Make him ultimate scumbag. Because I think they did such a good job with making everyone despise Homelander. And they've been doing that for like three seasons. That you can't really make me hate someone more than him. And even a season. It's going to take time. Unless you just go on like a little weird rampage doing disgusting shit. Yeah. Maybe that's why you said he was a disappointment. I really think... I don't know. Maybe it was because he didn't raise him? I don't understand. I thought they would have connected, so I was kind of confused by that. Teleport teleportation is pretty complex. It is, for sure. But I think I would train my teleportation skill to be precise enough to go right in front of my fridge. And steal one dollar? <laughs> on the boys. We're talking about that because the season just ended um, on Friday. He does. Anthony Stars is doing a great job. I haven't seen him in anything else. 
but um, he's definitely sold me on his ability to act this season. Well, in all of the seasons. He just keeps getting better, though. Oh. I didn't think about that. Yeah, I guess they would have tried to kill Soldier Boy at the end, but... They should have at least let him kill Homelander first. That's the part that I still think is just fucking stupid. But I don't know. I don't know what they're gonna do after they do take down Homelander. Where does the show go after that? Whatever it is, I'll still watch it for sure. Hold on. Um. Oh, okay. Okay. Here, let me read this to you real quick so I can play the game while we're <laughs> while we're talking. Um. Bobbery was once married. He had a wife named Scarlet. The two of them were madly in love. Hold on, my cat's feeder is going off. Um, the love sort of reserved for fairy tales. Now, Bobbery was once a renowned sailor, so he was away from home for long periods. Yeah, no, I have to read the scene. That's why, like, I wanted to do the boys' discussion, but there's no way I'm skipping over this text because you guys need to know about Bobbery's past and why he's a good character, okay? Um, oh shit, I forgot to read that line. But Bobbery went away a lot as a sailor, and Scarlet always waited for his return. And Bobbery, his eyes never drifted. He loved only Scarlet truly and deeply. So they lived and found happiness where they could. By the way, I fucking love the name Scarlet. It's so pretty. And all was good for a time. But not all good things can last. It was a particularly icy winter when it happened. Scarlet fell ill. A virus? A passing cold? No one knew. But it soon turned serious. Bobbery at sea on a long, lonely voyage knew nothing of his bride's suffering. By the time he returned, Scarlet had succumbed. She was gone. Bobbery, of course, blamed himself. My loving wife perished because of me. No, it's not an NTR story. It's very wholesome and sad. If I were not at sea, I could have nursed her to health. I would have saved her. He was overcome with such thoughts. They tormented him always, hunting his sleep. He has never gone out to sea since. Gee, what a downer. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> That's a pretty good reason for hitting the ocean. <laughs> so tell me, do you still want him to return to the sea? I mean, my answer is no, he suffered enough, but... We gotta, we gotta have him return. Also, let me read Kitten's message. Even if Soldier Boy somehow managed to be a bigger piece of shit, it still wouldn't justify turning on Soldier Boy? Yeah! I agree! I think the ending of season 8, or the, the, the final episode had a stupid fucking ending. It didn't make sense that they turned on him like that. Stupid. Stupid, stupid, stupid! Hmm. Okay. Hold on, I'll, I'll talk on that point after we're done reading this, tear jerk. On her deathbed, Scarlet wrote Bobbery a final letter. You hold it in your hands. I don't know what's written inside, but I can tell you what she told me as she lay dying. If I should succumb to this plague, and if my love should blame him for my death, then give him this letter to him so he may hear my voice. But, the but when I saw Bobbery in misery, trying to forget the pain as he mourned his wife, I just couldn't bring myself to present this letter to him. Are you fucking dumb, you piece of shit? <laughs> Why would you not give it to him immediately? What a bad reason not to give someone a letter. Okay, but now we can continue with our discussion. I'm sorry, I was genuinely upset at that. Like, you should... What the fuck? Um, but she doesn't want Ryan done. He could have been like, Hey, you little kid, go scoot inside a closet right quick while me and the boys are killing Homelander, you know? But... No! Instead, they're like... Let's try to kill Soldier Boy. Yeah, this is this is a good plan. This is good. We've been trying to kill Homelander for how long? But yeah, let me, let me fucking take down Soldier Boy. Why not? Why not? This is a good idea. Mm -hmm. Bobbery, why? I know! <laughs> Can you give you a hug? Yeah, hold on. I think I have... I think I have a hug command. Hug. Okay, I don't. There you go, but you have one. You have a hug now. Yeah, stun Ryan. I don't know, karate chop him. Something, just put him in a closet until he's... Until the battle's over. 
It was very weird. It was a very weird decision. And I think that it was stupid writing and that you should have done something else. It was not okay. I don't know. I don't know what they could have done. Actually, I do. I do. I just wanted a different ending. I wanted them to either like... I, it would have been completely fine if somehow Soldier Boy... Like, pulled his punches because he had some feelings for Homelander or something. If, if it went down like that, I would have been okay with it. But the fact that they're like, oh no, we're gonna, we're gonna try to kill Soldier Boy now. I hated that. I really hated it. Okay, and here's Scarlet's letter. My love, if you're reading this letter, then I am no longer by your side. Because fate has stepped between us, I have decided to write you this letter. If you're reading this, I must have passed away while you were out at sea. I can only assume that you will blame yourself for it, my sweet Bobbery. Although my life was short, you gave me more than a lifetime worth of joy. Though you will mourn, I beg that you remember that time, like love, is a tide. You are one with the sea as you were one with me. Do not lose both of your life's loves. Oh, wait, I'm tearing up. This is such a sweet letter. You are one with the sea as you were with me. A thousand pardons, but I may have a moment. Oh, this is so sweet. But yeah, this is this is my favorite Paper Mario game that exists. Um, the story and at, like I don't remember how many chapters there are. I think there are like seven or eight or nine. There's only one chapter that I dislike. Um, all of them are really good. Yeah, he was gonna be collateral. He wasn't being specifically targeted. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, now we can continue with the story. <laughs> I just needed to read Scarlet's letter real quick. Um. What if they both died at the end? If Homelander and Soldier Boy died, I would have been okay with that. I feel like they could have turned onto a... I don't know, like, a new point in the story. They've been fighting Homelander a long time, you know? It's been three fucking seasons. They could have done something else. I would have still watched it. It's not like I'm watching it for Homelander. I watch it because I like the characters and the angstiness of the show and how there's, a, like, a bad corporation. It's like what superheroes would be if they existed in real life. And I like that. Like, the premise of the show wouldn't have changed to me. Oh no, Jake. What did you get? What did you get? <clears throat> Which one do you not like? Um, I don't like the... Oh, no, well, merciful science. I don't like the second chapter with the ponies. I don't know. It's not like it's inherently a bad chapter. It's just compared to all of the other banging chapters, that one's the weakest to me. And so I played that one off stream. Because I probably would have bitched about it for like an hour or so while I was playing it. And I'm like, I don't like to be a negative Nelly on stream, so let me just play this off stream. <laughs> but all the other ones I really, really enjoy. What do you want? What? Hey, don't claw my chair, you fucking... Um, oh, thank you, Baby Pretty. <laughs> we can beat the game now that I read Scarlet's letter. You don't like chapter four? Really? My brother doesn't like chapter four either. Um, and he doesn't like it because it was kind of like a creepy area, but why don't you like it? I liked it a lot because I. I don't know. I so I can be sometimes antisocial, so I like that you could just go around listening to people's conversations. You were just like eavesdropping underneath the ground, and that like tickled my fancy. <laughs> and welcome to the snack shack, Stride 180 Wolves. Backtracking? That does happen, and you're right, and that is a valid reason to hate a chapter. Understood. I also hate almost all of the enemies that are in chapter 4 because they can combo you and you can die and that is not fun <laughs> I lost so many coins in chapter 4 because I had to keep fucking running away and I was very very fucking butt mad about that wait they have season 4 and 5 to come? so wait they've been renewed till season 5 is that what's going on? I didn't know that. I, I but I feel like they could have killed him and just pivoted the show. They could have been like, oh yeah, let's go fight Newman. Like they set it up. They set her up to have her own story arc, and I feel like she could have been an A plot as opposed to her being a B plot now. Oh yeah, Flavian talks to himself. Is this voyage as reckless as they say? Ah, I must go. Flavio will show them guts. Oh, this is cute. It makes you want a snack? Oh, thank you. I didn't come up with the kids, did 
<laughs> but I also like a snack shack. Yeah, go get a snack. Everybody needs snack. Another day of good wind. Wet clouds. They dazzle me. Whatever. Flavio's text. He's just very full of himself. It's not very interesting. Um. Wait. Oh, yeah. Fuck. I read your message. It was like Cajun, chicky, chicky, Cajun. Okay. Cajun chicken tickets. Cajun chicken tickets. What? Oh, maybe tendies? And a big medium sized thing of JoJo's fries? Oh, I love Orange Fanta though. I'm not familiar with JoJo's fries, but I don't I don't think fries can be bad. Like even if they're crinkle cut fries, which are my least favorite as as all of the fries out of all of the wonderful flavors and shapes of fries, um they're still delicious. <laughs> I mean they're fucking French fries, you know? And hello. Yes, it's a classic game. I really love this one. Bum, bum, bum. Yes, Flavio is just telling us of a story. <laughs> a tale of bravery, right? I heard this one yesterday. There's no way to escape too. We just have to listen until he's finished. <laughs> yeah, if you interrupt his, him mid-story, he absolutely loses it too. Wait, why is the... Wait, what's going on here? Oh, um, we care about Butcher and Homelander? Um... I think they... Maybe the on season four, they're hopefully gonna pivot away from Homelander a little bit. I don't know. I feel like I get tired of shows if they don't progress the plot. And like the plot and what they've continued to do is to try to kill him. And they aren't doing that. And I want him fucking dead. I want a new evil villain. I don't know. I feel like there's so much they can do with it. And they aren't reaching their full potential by focusing on Homelander. But anyways, they are in the middle of the ocean and the, the ship stopped. Ah, stopped you say to me after interrupting a story of passion and fury? Well, it is your job to keep the ship moving, yes? Mm, so take care of it. I think it would feel weird without Omlander for a little bit, but I'd get over it. I don't watch it for him. But maybe maybe my opinion is in the minority, because it seems like y'all really like to see Homelander. <laughs> and at this point, it's been so many years with him. I'm I'm okay with him leaving. Yeah, I agree with that, Kittens. That's the part that makes me angry. Is that the season was dedicated to killing him and getting a weapon, and then they didn't do it. A DBZ scouter? Oh, no, wait, what for? <laughs> I don't have one, I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah! I would have loved, like... That are kittens. If you wrote that as a season, I would have eaten that shit up. I love that. And especially because, like, she was a corrupt person. I would have been like, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. This is a good show. Mm -mm -mm -mm. But instead, they went a different way. It's very weird. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I'm working on it. Just wait a Goomba stomping moment, you scallywags. Mm -hmm -hmm. Oi, quit shoving, eh? I'm working over here. I said quit shoving. Uh, uh... <laughs> I forgot they were fire enemies. Um, I mean... That's because they didn't reach their end goal. They didn't even reach like a middling goal. If they had weakened Homelander... I mean, then they would have done something. I feel like, I guess they empowered him. Because now he's no longer hiding from the public from what a shitbag he is. Uh, yeah, I guess they just emboldened him and empowered him, huh? <laughs> I guess that's even worse. <laughs> oh, no. Okay, but what is this ruckus now? Who is here? Will someone tell me what's going on? But I like um, reading your comments about the boys. So if you guys keep talking about it, please note that I'm not getting tired of it. I'm enjoying this discussion very thoroughly. Ooh. No, 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 they're upon us, the, the p -p -p pirate ghosts! All them rumors were true. What, what do we do now? We gotta get out of here. Is it possible? It is possible to put a DBZ scouter on if somebody posts a PNG in Discord. Actually, it's pretty easy. It'll just take me like a minute. Okay, now qu qu quickly move the boat. Bum, 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 bum. All ghostly. Oh, thing. Are you are you really the savage pirate king? Ayy, help me! Book up now, everyone. Remain civilized. Relax. Don't panic. 
He's gonna do some crazy shit. Yeah. He is. He already did a crazy shit at the, like the last two minutes of the show when he killed somebody in broad daylight. Oh my god, can we fucking talk about um MM's family and how his daughter's stepdad is going off the fucking rails? Dude, that must suck. I feel so bad for him. MM can't get a break. Yeah, fuck Todd, for real. The fact that he was the one to root for him, I was like, oh my heart, oh no, oh no. But at least he's finally telling his daughter about, you know, what happened to his family, so hopefully she won't be brainwashed. The boys too, wait, have two new time pressures, but you're super cancerous. <laughs> I don't know, you remember when you were a kid? Never mind, I don't think it's stream points. Stream appropriate. And HL becoming more unhinged, and Newman is a dangerous soup and an even more important government position. Mm hmm. Yes, they do have two big triggers now that they, they're going towards. Hopefully, they'll actually push the plot forward. Okay, at least the shanties keep out the wind and rain. We still have no signs of Bobbery and the others in my heart, she doubts. Still, despite my fears, I must go forward. Three days on the aisle now, and the huts are all finished. We have carved a life out here, though we are dream of a return to Rougeport. Mm. So, Bolt, you were wrong, my pre- oh, Well, I meant to say, Bolt, you were right. I'm sorry, I'm so used to telling people they're wrong that that just came out of my mouth. <laughs> Bolt, you were right. You were right. My previous statement was wrong. Stuff did change. I guess I was mad that not more stuff changed. Oh yeah, you think she's gonna kill him? Probably. I would I would think that as well. That's a good that is a very good um plot point. I hadn't given much thought to it. <laughs> it ain't much, but we finished a wee hut for you. Uh come look, come look. Bum bum dum bum bum. Mm-hmm. It's just the old but bigger. That is true. Um, I think I remember there being something around here. Okay, yeah, there's this, but I thought there was something else over here as well. Ah, you! Waka who? I'm Waka. We've got some good weather today, right? Makes me feel like nothing bad could happen on a day like today. <laughs> I got the bun. Okay, we're good. <laughs> That's what I remember. Couldn't remember what was over there. I just knew something existed. Oh! That would be good, too. That's a good story point. Man, I could never be a writer. I'd never be able to decide on something because I'm like, oh, that, that's a good theory. Oh, that's a good theory, too. Okay, yeah, do it all. And then you would end up with, like, some abomination <laughs> of, a, of a show. <laughs> And what about you, Squinty? You turned to jelly when you saw all those ghosts. What are you talking about? You were the one quaking in his boots, fancy pants. Um, wait, one moment. Did did you call the great Flavio fancy pants? I don't know, chance ball. That's right, fancy pants, fancy pants, fancy pants, fancy pants, fancy pants. Why you little cyclops, Flavio demands satisfaction. You, me, hammers at dawn. Oh, that's right. Fine by me. Can't wait to put a few dents in those fancy threads. And kills everyone only to discover it was a thought. I... I thought it was real. I'm like, oh, it finally happened. This man, he just killed a shit ton of people. But it was crazy. He actually did kill people this season. Like, on purpose. Like, before it seemed like it might have been kind of, like, accidental, like... Oh, no, actually, no, he killed all the people in the plane, never mind. But he killed people in, like, cold blood and, and broad daylight, and that was insane. It's different. Yeah, there... The, the Homelander's that one show with some male figures in it, that's true. Mm-hmm. Oh, no worries, Captain Two-Face. Mama Mario, front and center, this is an order! Take care of the ghosts! How do we fight fire? Uh, I can't flee this fight. I don't think we have anybody that it can actually get rid of the hammer besides. Ma I'm sorry, get rid of the fire besides Mario. Vivian, Coop, Scandala. No, they all are physical attackers. 
He gets owned by Gus? I don't... Who's Gus? <laughs> because if Todd wasn't there to cheer Homelander... Um... I feel like... Even if Todd wasn't there, there would have been some other crazy fucker in the crowd. But yeah, people do jump on like the first opinion and the first opinion in that situation. Oh, he's susceptible to bombs. Cool. Um, first reaction in that case was a woo. Could have gone either way. You're right, you're right. I do feel like somebody else would have wooed anyways though. Oh, the cartel leader from Breaking Bad? I haven't watched Breaking Bad. Do you think I'd like it? Oh my god, there's so many fire attacks, there's nothing I can do but this. Yeah, the plane scene was very gross. And the fact that um, he, at some point, became just okay with what happened on the plane... ...showed that he was becoming even more unhinged. You think I'd like Jesse Pinkman a lot? I mean, I can give it a go. I wouldn't mind. I'm always down to try some new shows. Who can I get? Okay, well, I guess these partners are just gonna defend. And thank you. It's built... Wait. It's built different show? Okay. As long as it's good, I'll give it a go. I do like more of dark stories, like the boys. I, I, I don't know. I like so many different types of shows. I like happy-go-lucky ones that fill my heart with happiness. And then I like trashy TV, and then I also really like... Um, dark ones. I can honestly say though, I don't like horror, and people keep recommending me to watch Stranger Things, and I just can't because I think I'm gonna get so scared that I won't be able to sleep. So I think I'm gonna pass on Stranger Things. You guys can spoil that one for me uh, as much as you want. If you post it in the chat, I don't care because I'm never gonna watch it. You're never gonna come to stream one day and I'll be like, guys, guess what happened? I just binged three seasons. That one is like a hard, hard pass for me. Yeah, he def definitely does a very good job as Homelander. Just all of his freaking like facial expressions are so good. You think it's weird? Vault! You can't get mad at people for not liking Sword Art Online because other people don't like it when you also just said right there, I haven't watched it, but I think it's overrated. You're being a little bit of a hypocrite, mister. <laughs> Could you recommend a show to me? Absolutely. 100%. Why don't you want to watch Stranger Things? Because I'm terrified of horror. And I feel like Stranger Things might make me have problems sleeping. Oh, there's not a hate wagon for Stranger Things? I don't know. I avoid anything about the topic because I'm just... I don't like horror. I don't like horror. I know we're playing a horror game this week, but... I mean, it, it's different. It's different when I'm in control of the game and versus when I'm watching something. How about Troll Hunters? I've never heard of Troll Hunters. Is it like where they search for Bigfoot, but instead they're looking for trolls? Um, okay. That's my boy. I knew you would go forth with boldness. Okay, we're supposed to do some stuff now. Wait, you don't know if it's a whore? Okay, all I've heard is that... One of my guy friends has to go over to his other guy friend's house. Every time a new season of Stranger Things comes out, because he can't sleep by himself the next day and I feel like we have the same me and that one friend have the same level of scaredness of shows and so that's why I don't think I could do it are we still talking about the boys um guys are we still talking about the boys I think we might be wait they got scary monsters oh no 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 that's that's a pass for me um Okay, yeah, I think we're done talking about the boys. Yeah, I'm gonna remove it. Oh wait, I do this thing where if somebody types in chat and if they have it muted, just my little brain short circuits and I start typing back to them. I don't know. I'm sorry. Okay. 
My little brain does dumb things. It doesn't link things correctly. Yeah, no more spoilers. Wait, you muted me for the past two minutes over. <laughs> Those look very great. Yeah, of course, of course. Um, I don't know. I just can't. I can't watch scary stuff. I can't. I can't. I can't. I don't know if it's ever gonna change. It's just because I get nightmares very easily and like night paralysis and then night paralysis demons and all of that shit. And so if I I don't wanna I don't wanna make more night paralysis demons this is what it comes down to. What's night paralysis? When you are awake ish. But for me, I'm also like, I'm in and out of sleep. But so it's like this weird state where I know that I want to wake up, but I can't wake up. But I know that I'm in bed and I can't move. And then I don't know if it's hallucinating or if I'm dreaming, but then I see shit and it's fucking terrifying and I can't move and I can't scream. There's nothing I can do. I just have to sit there and be terrified. And then I cry. It's, it's so scary. It's the worst. Yeah, please never get sleep paralysis. This is terrifying. Yeah. You get it too, Omar. Yeah. Oh no, you poor thing. Isn't that sleep paralysis? Yeah, it might be. I don't know. But that's what it is to me. Somebody asked what sleep paralysis is, so I explained. What's night paralysis? <laughs> I explained it. Mm, when your brain is awake but your body isn't. Ah, there we go. No, it's okay, it's okay. It just, um... I used to take... So, you know how Benadryl makes people sleepy, right? There, you can buy... As like, a sleep aid, the little ingredient in it that makes people fall asleep. But I took it for so many nights in a row that it started giving me sleep paralysis. <laughs> And it wasn't the thing that like initially triggered it or anything, but it definitely ramped up after that. <gasps> oh my god, that's terrifying, pumpkin. Sometimes I'm able to like move my hand or just like a teeny tiny part of my body and like I'll dig into my arm or something to like trigger pain to wake me up. I'm getting I'm getting little methods now. I know you can get coconuts out of these trees. Some some frick give me coconut, please. A tall white human or monster? <gasps> oh, that's the worst! I know! I need to sleep with my bedroom door shut or something because like, when I have sleep paralysis, I'll look at the door and then there will be like shadows or something and I think there's a person there. Oh, Terrifying, my heart's sinking thinking about it. Your sleep positions are so weird. I used to have weird sleep positions all the time as well. I used to like frequently change um, the orientation of my body when I was sleeping. Wait, also, I need to draw for you guys how I sleep. Because I sleep like a fucking freak. <laughs> Maybe I'll stick figure draw it one day. But basically, I have one leg down like a flamingo, okay? And then the other leg... I'm very limber, so the other leg... I hug it. But with my feet... Like right... With one of my feet... Like right... Below my tid. So it's like on my belly. I don't know if you guys can imagine that. It's, um... I'm very limber, so it's like a very comfy position for me, too. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, it's a weird one. Yeah, I'm a very sleep... Uh, a freaky sleeper, indeed, indeed. You have a sore neck when you wake up. You guys don't understand? Do I need to get on MS Paint drawing? Okay, we're gonna... <laughs> we're gonna have a little MS Paint session. One second. Okay, hold on. I think I might actually have like a side on here. Uh... No, hold on. Oh. Ah, 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 ah. Okay, okay, we're all good. We're gonna pause this. We're gonna get up in this paint. Where'd it go? I lost my paint. See, let's see. Window capture, untitled paint. Let's go. <laughs> oh, 
Okay. I don't have my tablet in, so we are straight up gonna just be using my mouse computer. So it's gonna be a little rough. What color is it? Where's my paintbrush? Okay, this is my cute little head, okay? Torso. We're gonna give me a butt. So you just know where the butt reference is, but there is no butt, it is flat. So one leg is down. Um, and then my arms are like this. I'm on my side. <laughs> Storm is right here. Storm is a very long cat. So he, he's right here. This is my cute cat, okay? <laughs> and then my other leg is right here. Well, maybe... It's kind of under storm as well, so it's like right here. C can you guys understand how I sleep now? This is how this is my hair. This is my beautiful, beautiful long hair. My goat, goat leaveness. There you go. The position of snacks when she sleeps. Wait, you guys don't understand at all. This didn't help. <laughs> Please don't draw sexy butts. Okay, I'll get rid of my butt. It was just for reference. It was so you knew where the butt would be. <laughs> I'm sorry that I created such a, a disturbing photo. It was, it was too sexy and no. Do legs work that way? Um, I don't think they're supposed to, but this I this is how I sleep. No, fl I, flamingos would, would, their leg would be down here. My leg goes the opposite way. I put it under here. Oh, yeah, this is my tail. I guess I could have done my tail, huh? Where is my brush? Okay, we're gonna... There's my tail. And this is the sleep position. Oh, hold on, Storm has big ears. He kind of looks like a tanuki there. Your foot is by your chest, is, am I right? Yeah, like I um I cuddle. Sometimes if Storm isn't sleeping with me, I will cuddle my foot instead, so then the foot goes up here. <laughs> Beautiful sleeping princess of snacks. <laughs> I'm gonna save the phone. What? Is the left foot or the right foot? I don't know. It kind of depends on... You know... Uh, which side I'm sleeping on. Let's see. If I'm sleeping on my left side, then I'm cuddling my right foot. And if I sleep on my right side, then I'm cuddling my left foot. They both can go up there. Yeah, the leg is... um. I mean, this leg is straight. Th and then this one, it's a... It's not underneath me or anything. It's above me. I guess one day I'll actually draw proper anatomy. But why? I don't know. Do you know why you sleep the way you do? You just kind of do it after a while, right? Here, I'm gonna save this. We're gonna... <laughs> Cutest sleeper. There we go. Now you understand how I sleep. I feel like this didn't answer any questions and that you guys are all still very confused. <laughs> You don't... Do you have bones? I do, but I'm very limber. My ligaments don't work properly because I'm very weak. Um, like when I was playing the violin regularly, my shoulder would pop in and out. And I can still pop it in and out. But it like every time I moved the bow, it would pop in and out. I had to go to physical therapy so I could keep playing the fucking violin. Yeah, I made a pipe cleaners. Um, but instead of, you know, being covered with pipe cleaner fur, it's, it's actually just goat fur. You would definitely wonder why. Well, you just gotta make sure that your foot is clean. You gotta cuddle a clean foot. A clean foot. If you're cuddling a dirty foot, you're just gonna end up a dirty, dirty boy, and that's not good. Hold on, I need to use the restroom. I guess enjoy the sleeping snacks for a little bit longer. Okay, bear me.
Okay, I'm back. I'm back. <laughs> I kept reading and not reading myself. Oopsies. And yeah, that is your new sleep paralysis demon. I hope you enjoy your cute girl being the demon. Wait, was my was my pupil twitching? <laughs> it does that a lot. I really need to get a new ceiling fan or something. Or like have an electrician come look at it so that I, my live 2D stops doing weird shit. I look like a freak a lot of the times. But like I've been trying to find a new ceiling fan, but I don't like any of them. And like they're all expensive, so like unless I really really like it, I'm not gonna buy it. And so I've ended up just not having a light in my bedroom for for many many months now. Fuck. Fuck 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 you fuck. Oh, oh my god. Oh shit, we're about to die. I think that's why I went back, wasn't it? But then I got distracted by the drawing. Oh thank you. Wait, the way it just grows and shrinks. <laughs> I think because most people fix theirs so that it doesn't do weird stuff. And um, I I like the scuff, and so I leave it in there. <laughs> yeah, a ceiling fan that's pretty is very expensive. It's like a hundred bucks minimum. And unless I'm in love with it, I'm not gonna get it. Cause I don't hate the one I have now, but I do think getting an electrician to come fix this one that's old as dirt is not very worth it. And it'd be a stupid decision. I think I'm gonna die. I think I should run. Uh, I should have ran. Okay, we're running. Mario, don't die. Mario, don't die. Goombella, you can die. Oh, oh. Oh, oh. We got to run away. Nailed it. Um, well, I have sleep paralysis issues, so it, that's why we keep mentioning it. We were talking about sleep paralysis for a while, but it's not a reference to like anything that you haven't heard of, you know? Why is Goombella out when you're promised Vivian only? Because I'm a lying whore, that's why. I'm sorry. I'm sorry you had to find out this way. No, but Goombella tattles on the monsters so that we can see their HP. And I'm not gonna keep switching her out in the middle of combat because then it always turns and we're gonna die. Well, Omer, is this scripted? Is this fucking scripted? Because what do you know? What will you have it? I am going to be playing a horror game on Wednesday. Thanks to kittens. So <laughs> your dream will be coming true. <laughs> and he was playing the game that I'll, I'll be playing. It's called Iron Lung. <clears throat> I. Iron? It's called Iron Lung. And, um, Kins was playing it while we were in Discord today, you know, just chilling. And he was screaming a lot, so, you know, Wednesday is gonna be a treat. And hello, Cappy. Cappy! How are you doing? Yeah, no, 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 it's fine. Are you having a good day, hun? Yeah, you you definitely sounded like you were having fun today. Also, Koops is good against these monsters, not Vivian, so you're gonna you're gonna get stuck with him. Oh, you woke up from a nap, you lucky ducky. I'm glad that you're having a good day. And name day that you take a nap is a good time. Yeah, we are. Wait, you've sent for Majima. <gasps> Wait, are you playing Yakuza? Wait, are you playing Yakuza? I know that you said that you wanted to play, but I didn't know if you had started yet. If you're playing it, that's awesome. You're on chapter three. Oh my god, you're cruising! Fuck yeah, that's awesome. <laughs> He's such a tree. I really like him, and apparently he gets. Hold on. I mean, never mind. I don't want any spoilers. But I hear he gets hotter. I, I haven't really seen too much of it, but I just I hear things. You're so excited? Yeah. <laughs> Wait, when he looked at it, <gasps> my heart just swooned again. <laughs> It was very good. Wait, she outright thirsts for Kiria? Well, simping and thirsting are different. You simp for people that you really like. You thirst for people that are just hot, you know? There's a difference. Mm hmm. But they are both very good characters. Thank you, Sega, for giving us these eye candies. I feel like there's not enough male eye candy in the world in the in video games, so I'm very thankful for the, that they did it. False? What do you mean false? True. That's right, pumpkin. I I am five head. <laughs> oh, 
way, but you're gonna love it. Oh no. I'm really worried. He really sounded like he was having a bad time today. I don't think I'm gonna fare much better. Yeah, Sega, you know, they can't really do Sonic correctly, but their other games are pretty good. Yeah, no, this game is really, really good. I recommend Paper Mario 64, the original one. This Paper Mario, um, the one on the Wii is just okay. I would say it's okay. And then there is also Paper Mario Sticker Star, which is on the DS, which is just, it's awful. It is fucking awful. Don't play it. I was so sad because I love the Paper Mario series and they did not do a good job. They made the combat worthless because you don't get experience points. And so like every time you go in combat, you're just like, there's no reason for this. I'm not getting rewarded for it. So they, they really shit the bet on that one. But then they redeemed themselves with Origami King. So to recap, Paper Mario 64 and then the Thousand Year Door are good, as well as Origami King. I liked all of those out of the series. Your yeah, Sticker Star is the worst! Thank you! My mom got it for me for my birthday! And I was so thankful that she did it. And I really tried to play it. I played it for a very, very long time. Just like, hate playing it. I'm like, it's gotta get good. It's gotta get good right about now, right? And it just, it never got good. I was so sad that they did that to my series. Wait. Oh, really? Wait, was that a pun? Wait, did I... Did I do a pun? It wasn't on purpose if I did it. I'm actually pretty proud now, thank you. <laughs> ah, that's why I couldn't do that. I am a critic of video games, but I'm not a critic of most other things. Like, TV shows, I'm pretty okay with. Movies, I don't care. I'll probably watch them if there's explosions and some comedian bits. Yeah, I'm pretty easy to please on those regards, but video games, they take a lot more time. Like, the time you put into it is much greater. So therefore, I expect greater from them. Yeah, Mario 64... Ah! I don't like Mario 64. How do I get over there? Oh, maybe Yoshi? I don't like Mario 64 because the camera, it makes it unplayable for me. But they had a Mario 64 remake on the DS when it first came out. And I was so confused why it was called Mario 64 because I didn't have a, a Nintendo 64 as a kid. I'm like, this is this is a weird number. Why did they put a 64 here? But okay. Um, but I fucking loved it on the DS. It is a good game, but it's just plagued by um, bad controls. But the DS version, they really fixed that on there. So I very I very highly recommend that version of it. Yeah, Mario 64 DS. It was a fucking amazing piece of art. But I think if you played Mario 64 as a kid, you probably wouldn't notice like the janky controls. Wait, the, what was the pun? What was the pun? 100 hours and it gets a good good, right? And then it did get good? It is good. You're just playing. Oh, I can't even say you're playing bad weapons in Ron Hun because you converted to dual swords for a second. In which case, you've now you're gonna have a bad time because you're not playing dual swords anymore. Well, hold on. I can critique shows every great once in a while. I can be slightly disappointed with it. I can show displeasure. But I still love the boys. I love the boys and I highly recommend it to people. 100%. My opinion hasn't changed. I'm just... I feel like they could have done better. But it's still a very good show and I like that. You also prefer Mario 64 DS? Another good opinion from Earthbound. <laughs> You've not played a Paper Mario game? Um, the Paper Mario game on the Wii, it's not bad. They have a good plot. It's just not as good as this one. And I was worried that... My opinion of this game was so high because it had nostalgia factors to it, but I'm very pleasantly surprised that I still fucking love this game. All right, they're, they're saying, please rescue me. Ah, ooh, there's hot fire. Flaming hot Cheetos here. Please help me. Yeah, we gotta help my boy, Bobbery. Um, you still have Vedic Center? I like, um... What do I like? Evade Extender is nice, but you don't really need it with dual swords. What I get is the Evade Window. That's the one I get so that your iframes are bigger during your Evade. I don't know if it um matters if you have Evade Extender. Like, if it gets better if you combine those two. I don't really know. But I used to have them all the time. 
Oh, wait. It may be pretty obvious to you who I really am, but no telling Mario or Ella or else. I liked little parts like this when the characters break the fourth wall. Obviously, we know that he's an ex not and he's a bad guy. But clearly Mario doesn't because he's dumb. Earthbound is a great game. I played it for the first time because they brought it to this Switch store on their little retro pass thing. And I loved it. I hardcore binged it every night before bed. Um, I don't know. I really enjoyed Earthbound. It, the characters were so fun. Uh, the plot was good. I just, I don't know. I also liked how fast paced it was because I don't like RPGs where you have to do like a lot of grinding, but then the fights also take a while I don't mind if the fights are quick and you have to grind like in Earthbound But they can't do both. They can't have um, Slow fights and a lot of grinding mm -hmm. Yeah, four eyes is talking about him being an evil dude. Please don't tell Mario. Oh wait, I think This is here Mario 64, the thousand year door. I don't think that's a pun. <laughs> I think that's a rhyme. <laughs> it's different, it's different. Oh, you did play Devil May Cry though? Ah, nice, nice. I like the fifth one. The fifth one is magical and it will go down as one of my favorite games. It was so good. It was a masterpiece. Okay, we gotta go save our boy Bobbery. Okay, Manhunt is different though. It's not an RPG. What I'm talking about is the JRPGs where they're turn-based, but then the animations take for fucking ever, and then you're just locked in there having a bad time. Earthbound was fucking fast as fuck, boy. All those um, fights, like, although there were a ton of them, they were fast, and I enjoyed that. I enjoyed how fast they were. Yeah, like the OG Pokemon games, like that, 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 that kind of stuff. At least in Pokemon you can turn off the animations and in Earthbound there were very little animations and it made me happy. I know some people don't like that they probably want more like, I don't know, flowery stuff, but me, I like it simple. I'm old. <laughs> no, it's okay, Omer. It's okay. Don't get embarrassed. I just, I'm not normally clever enough to come up with puns, so that's why I was like so excited if I did come up with a pun. <laughs> I'm not good at them. My brother also makes a lot of puns, and so I get... I like them a lot. And they remind me of my brother. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the animations do take a long time back in the old games. I imagine they take a long time in the new games too, but as soon as I am able to hit the options menu to turn that shit off, they are no more. So I can't really comment on if they take a long time. <laughs> My fucking tiny brain, it just, it needs fast. I need to keep going. What? No, I don't hate when you make puns. I like puns. Puns are good. Puns make me happy. Oh, the pain of it all. Yeah, that's true. If it's like Arceus. No, actually, I think I turned off the animations on Arceus. Never mind. My opinion is invalid. <laughs> Mario, my old boy. I guess those blokes got me a bit better than I thought. Mario, please hear my last request. I must thank you for taking me out to see you one last time. Aubrey's dying. Aubrey's fucking dying, y'all. But there is one last thing I need before I go to my rest. Chocola, wait, Chocola Cola. I was saving that one bottle, my last memory of Scarlet, to celebrate reaching here. I saw it among the flotsam drifting towards the island, so it must be somewhere. If I might have just one sip before our, my final voyage. <coughs> <sighs> Give me that Chocola Cola, old boy. <laughs> yeah, he's dying. <laughs> Is this it? Is this what I need to get him? I don't know how to get there. Maybe down here. Did you know that Ursula's eels are called Flotsam and Jetsam? He just said Flotsam and I didn't know that that was like a real thing. I, w I thought it was just the name of her eel. Bum, bum. Yeah, he wants a cola as a last meal. Guys, what is your last meal gonna be? Mine's gonna be a buffet of sushi, 
sashimi and pizza. And then I want it to be finished off with some beautiful, beautiful. Uh oh, uh oh. Brownies. I really like brownies. Oh, I can't get the coconut. Get out of here. I don't need you. Ah! Unagi sushi. Yes, yes, yes. Unagi sushi is the best. It's my favorite. Oh, unagi dons are the fucking shit. But they're always so expensive. There was one restaurant I used to go. They were fucking dumb as shit. Or maybe all their food was just expired. But they had unagi dons for like just a teeny tiny bit over $10. And I will tell you, I was very poor at the time, but I still made money for some unagi dons because that shit was so good. Yeah, sushi is a starter. <laughs> I don't think sushi is normally an appetizer, but I guess for our last meal, we can make it that. I was just gonna pick it out with like two or three entrees. I'm not gonna get no fucking starter, no appetizer. Just give me that main entree. I fucking hate appetizers, cause then I get too full. I have a teeny tiny belly if I um don't just shove a ton of food in right away. Like I can't space out my food. If you give me a salad, I won't have room for my main course. What? Why'd you give me a little grumpy face? I didn't do nothing. Maybe a dead Goomba? A dead Goomba? And how- Oh my god, what a cute fucking emoji. What the hell? Did you say... Goomba? They like to tell me my hair looks like a Goomba. <laughs> Goats like salad? I love salad. I do. I ate two salads today. I ate two salads and a sandwich. And... If I knew I wasn't gonna get sick by eating a third salad, I would have a third salad today. I can't get enough of them, but I do. If it's my last meal, I'm gonna want... I'm gonna want sushi and pizza. This is what I need. Ooh, David, that is... That's fucking smart. Can't ever die and get your last meal if they don't... If they can't get it to you. Alright, what would I get? Is there one? Is there some like endangered animal that they haven't seen in like twenty years? I yeah, give me some of that meat. That's what I need. Who has the soda pop? Hmm. Okay, now they're going over it. Wait, capybaras are categorized as fish? Really? No, I thought they were a rodent. What? You don't think you would eat anything? No way. You denied the sushi? I didn't deny the sushi. I said don't make it an appetizer. I said give me that whole fucking roll because I don't want no appetizer sushi. <laughs> I said give me more sushi, not less. <laughs> Capybara sushi, I don't... I'd be scared. Can you eat Capy's raw? What do they taste like? Okay, but Bobbery sacrificed himself to save us from the ghost. Please, we've got to go back and help him. What, lunacy burst forth from your mouth? The Admiral lives? What fortitude! Mario, front and center, I entrust you with the mission to save our dear Admiral. Oh, for the purposes of Lend. Oh, that makes sense. Ah, religion. Okay. Can you eat fish during Lend and it's like only fish? I know when I did Lent or something, you were supposed to give up food and you could only eat invertebrates or something. I don't know. It was so complicated, but it made me sick and I had to stop doing it. Bum, bum, bum. Wait, you, yeah, I do think starters are usually small just by their name, but if they are small, good on you. People who have a good appetite, they're good in my book. Okay, what do you need? He does have the Chocula. This fucking Flavio flavor man is trying to keep his soda pop. However, this Chocola Cola is part of my... I mean, our supplies, which we need to survive. So I will need you to find something to eat as a replacement. Oh, he's gonna ask for a fucking coconut, isn't he? Hmm, that's cheating, isn't it? I do feel like it's cheating. I do think if you just recategorize it... <laughs> There's no way capybaras are fucking fish. 
I mean, they swim, right? But does that make bears fish? Guys, just in... Bears are now fish. You can eat them for Lent. <laughs> oh, that's fucking crazy. So during the Middle Ages, the church went a bit crazy? Oh, okay, okay. Huh. That's interesting for sure. Um... Yes, for one olive, because he wanted an olive tree to grow for him. Oh! Yeah, fish are friends, not food. Because Cuppy's our friend. I'm pretty proud of that one. <laughs> Do you like... <laughs> Why, yes, David. I do like fish sticks. <laughs> I do want to grow like, um, what type of food do I want to grow? I am growing some veggies outside. I'm, I have like some tomatoes and some like peppers growing and like cilantro. I wanted to grow mint, but apparently if you grow mint, it'll take over your entire garden. So you shouldn't actually grow mint. I do indeed like putting fish sticks in my mouth. <laughs> Oh wait, give me all my money. Thank you. That bears are our closest relative to seals? Really? That's so fucking cool. Grow mint forest? I need like a dedicated mint garden and I don't have that. What are you, a gay fish? No, I'm not a gay fish. Why the fuck does everyone keep calling me that? <laughs> that made me happy. Thanks, David. <laughs> Couldn't you isolate the bits? I could. I need to get like a special teeny tiny mint garden. But I, I want to grow catnip. I want just like all of the cats to come to my area. <laughs> It'd make me super happy. Oh, oh, I, I guess I rebounded it so I didn't go properly. Do I know what narwhals are? Yeah, I know what narwhals are. They're like um the thing that looks like a tiny whale with the, the unicorn horn, right? Wait, I'm about to fucking die, y'all. Um... Uh-huh. Oh, what are we gonna do here? This is about to be bad. This is not good. Don't kill... I'm not gonna kidnap the local cats. I am going to love them. I will love the local cats. There used to be a cat that came in my yard all the time, but I haven't seen them in quite a while. Okay, repeatedly tap R. It's so weird, but just the R doesn't work for that one. There we go. There's no way I'll die now. <laughs> but yeah, I got some cilantro seeds and hopefully they'll grow, finger crossed. She would do it like in Minecraft early. Oh yeah. <laughs> My house has too many cats in Minecraft. <laughs> And I'm only sad because I want different colored cats in there now. Fingers crossed is an expression like, ah, I could only hope so. Go see a doctor? No, 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 it's fine. Bum, 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 bum. Wait, narwhals are real? Narwhals aren't real, are they? I, they, they were in Monster Hunter. But they also have like wet fish and I don't think you can actually sharpen your sword on some wet fish. I don't have any good more badges, so I'm gonna get actually HP. Wait, they're real? Nuh uh. Nuh uh 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 uh. There is no way. Get, run, run, Yoshi. Yeah, get out of here. Yeah, they're real. Really? Really? <gasps> the more you know, I really thought they were a fake monster hunter fish. <laughs> Alright. Well, this is what happens when you get most of your knowledge from video games. And they're a mammal? Really? Wow. They used to be sold as unicorn horns? I could see that. What do you mean no fucking way? Yeah, I thought they were I thought they were mythical creatures like unicorns. How am I supposed to know that normals are real? Is 
this just common knowledge that they instill in young children? I don't think so. I don't think so. I thought they were fake fish. Like, a unicorn fish. Shut up. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> oh, and hello, Gail. Hello, Gail. <laughs> you don't believe me? I'm serious. You used to be able to catch narwhals, I thought, in Monster Hunter. Hold on, let me look this up. Because I know I learned about them from Monster Hunter. Like, I'm pretty... I'm like 90% sure. Narwhal... Mon Hun. How to beat Narwhal? No, a, a narwhal, narwhal fish. Fish. Narwhal. Ah! Okay, that's right. In Monster Hunter Try, you could get um, an area 10 of Mogul Woods. There's a really big fish, and it's called a mystic narwhal. See, that's how I knew about it. It's in Monster Hunter, and it's a mystic narwhal, and so I thought it was a mythical creature. Checkmate. <laughs> there you go. That's how, that's how I got my game knowledge and apparently fake real knowledge. I mean, you can type unicorns in Google and they'll show you an image too. <laughs> Sorry. I, yeah, I mean, I like playing video games too. That's what I do on the stream. The 10 out of 10 streams. Go, go fast. I, I don't know. I'm still reeling from this. Um, I mean, I figure they look like what they did in Monster Hunter. Here, fine. I'll go. I'll go Google. I'll, I'll, I will appease you. I will appease the great box of kittens. Narwhal, IRL. Fuck you. They are an underwater creature, and you just did this so that I would look at fucking underwater pictures and get freaked out. I don't know why I fell for it. <laughs> I was hoping they would be found. <laughs> and like, I don't know, like... <sighs> okay. That was rough. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. You know, my TV also hates me because it has one of those screensavers where it's like, you you know what you really want to see right now? Jellyfish. You want to see jellyfish underwater? Oh, you know what's really cool? Looking at the fucking bottom of the ocean. Oh, this is great. Let me just show you this in fucking 4K picture. And I don't know how to switch off of it. And so I just, I, I think I'm going to get my screen burned in because every time it goes to the fucking screensaver mode on my TV, it's just underwater and I hate it. I hate it so fucking much. <laughs> Yeah, I thought they were mythical. I said Mystic Narwhal. It's not my fault. <laughs> I'm taking no responsibility for this this mix-up. <laughs> okay, we're giving him a coconut. Because for some reason he wants a coconut for cola. There we go. We got the Chocola Cola. Alright. But, unfortunately... I'm having a great time, which is fortunate, but what I meant to say is, unfortunately, I'm gonna have to end stream here because I agreed to go to a D and d session and I forgot about it and I didn't take a shower before stream and um, there's no way I can go somewhere right now without taking a shower. I'll just leave it at that. Your, your, girl, <laughs> your girl needs to go take a shower. <laughs> She's a stinky goat. So let's find some Wonder Raid. Um... <gasps> Arthur's playing Spiral! Okay, we're gonna raid Arthur because he's playing Spiral. I fucking love Spiral. Okay, here you go. Yeah, I enjoyed our stream a lot. But, oh wait, did I not copy his name? Hold on, I must stop. You guys don't leave yet. Huh? There we go. Yeah. Thank you guys so much for coming out and chatting with me for this stream. I wanted it to be longer. I wanted it to go for like five hours, but I forgot about it today. 
<laughs> um, and I will see you guys tomorrow. We're gonna be finishing Yakuza 0. We're gonna do it. We're gonna finish it. It doesn't matter how long it takes. Tomorrow is the day. It's going down. So I will see you guys at the same time, which is 2. It's a little bit earlier than normal, but see you then. Bye! Bye, 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 bye.